the shit that we probably thinking in this battle, I'm trying not to like, you know, hit hit Drake and like see where he's at. I'm like, but he he hits me. So I'm like, okay. So I said, yo, how you feel about you know <laughs> the Ross record? I'm really trying to gauge him. Like, damn, he kind of stepped in. He was like, he said he was richer than me, and I turned it off. <laughs> <laughs> no, worry, ma. Check in, Ma. Check in. Check in with who? No, I'm sorry. I could never be nobody number one fan. Your first number one, I had to put it in your hand. Right. Pussies can't get put outside of man. Rocky should have used that against him. Tokyo because I'm big in Japan. I'm the head maker, y'all the pand on. Backstage in my city, it was friend zone. You won't ever take no chain off of us. How the fuck you be stepping with a size seven man zone? Uh -huh. Just the part with the white nigga. What's These are nine. Mm -hmm. I know my I thought you were a seven. I don't wear a seven. Oh, I think <laughs> eight. Sometimes it's eight. Sometimes it's eight. Oh, Sometimes it's eight. Yeah, depending right. if I want them. Your last one brick, you really not on shit. They make excuses for you because they hate to see me lit. Pull your contract because we got to see the split. The way you doing splits, bitch, your pants might rip. That's fire. That's for the girls, man. All this is for girls. This ball right here? Swifties. That's, that's what they gonna shake ass at. Got you wiped down. Got you wiped down. Right now. Oh, what I write down. I had to hike down. And Mike now. What the fuck is this a 20 V? One nigga. What's a prince to a king? That's a son, nigga. Get you from, nigga. And do some drums, nigga. That line's hilarious. That nigga just did 87 cities and he talking to y'all like that. Women, Jets. That's wiki, wiki, wiki. <laughs> you buy niggas jets, planes, and jewelries? Oh, that's wiki. You try to fuck Drake, these niggas. Drake does that. Drake does do that, though. Who you bought a jet for? What nigga you bought a jet for? Why y'all y'all just see this? What I'm saying that's why. <laughs> this why you want a car. This why you should have never responded because this all y'all niggas gonna do. Oh, Drake did that. Yo, cut it out. Y'all niggas never knew Drake for buying a nigga a jet before. Now today he buy niggas jets. What nigga he bought a jet? Oh, I'm sorry. No, oh. he just brings all the men Ferraris. on his jet. On his own jet, he can't fly. Take his crew on his <laughs> he jet. Buy, he does buy niggas' cars, though. Of course he does. I can't buy my home if I got eight hundred million dollars. Yeah, you can do whatever you want. Don't diss somebody who also did it. You buy niggas', niggas cars. You trying to fuck? Niggas love to move the goalposts. Are we on? This is, this is. on? That's, That's like crazy. You Yo, we rolling around. Something we're you rolling. do. We rolling. Let's, let's keep hey, going. Hey man. Hey hey hey. hey listen man. We back. We here. <laughs> niggas is mad. <laughs> they wanted Drake keep to respond. He finally responded, and now niggas is upset. <laughs> Who's upset? I don't know. The world seems upset. <laughs> First of all, we all think Drake's up. Like we're all team over no, right I think now. I think I think y'all are upset though at his response. Ooh. Just seem a little perturbed. How so? I don't know. You seem a little rattled. How's everybody feeling? How's everybody? We I'm I'm hype. Hip hop is fun again. I'm enjoying this moment because once it's over, so is hip hop. Oh, please. No, <laughs> that's what not, we were debating not last again. night. <laughs> no. Hey, let's enjoy this moment. Thank you, Drake. This is going to kill Thank you, Kendrick. No, hip hop. I thought dead. hip hop died in, uh, in Raleigh, North Carolina. Ah, last see, Sunday. I told y'all that. Up. I told y'all that's when I thought hip hop died. I told y'all that already. So don't, don't make it seem like this is Okay, new. but all right. I on Saturday, it was revived then. Yes. Okay. Yeah, we just a little bit of rapping. That's what we wanted, right? With some raps. Yeah. Some raps. Some it felt good, right? Waking Gave us up, a lot of raps. Waking up, finding out that a record had leaked, right? Mm -hmm. It kind of felt like, oh, shit. Had, gave us something to run to the internet about as a family, as a collective. I bought a stock in MP3s again. You bought stock in MP3s. When was the last time you downloaded an MP3? It's I downloaded two on Saturday. MP3s? Yeah. It wasn't on streaming. Oh, yeah. Ross is two, which we'll get to. But wasn't it nice to download an MP3 again? Well, the record had leaked, right? First of all, welcome to the new Rory Mall hey podcast. Guys. Uh, thank you for joining us. Uh, subscribe to our Patreon. Subscribe to the YouTube. Uh, NewRoryMall.com. Merch is available now. Um, new merch, too. New well, merch is available. Actually, it's over. It's over? By the time they're hearing this? Yeah. If you're hearing this, it's over. So <laughs> Yeah, if you're hearing this, it's too late. <laughs> it's, it's too late. late. <laughs> it's too late to get some, some of the new merch. But uh, thank you to everybody that uh, copped a t-shirt over the weekend. Um, 
So yeah, woke up. Uh, was that Saturday? Saturday morning. Saturday morning, woke up, <clears throat> and um, somebody has sent me what appeared to be a response record mm-hmm. from Drake, and I was like, I'm not clicking on it. I feel like this is AI. So immediately, I you know, go to the source, and I send the record. I'm like, listen, I'm not clicking this. If this is real, or if this is AI, just let but, me know. But what's wrong with clicking it? Because I, I I'm, try- <laughs> I'm trying to stay away from the whole AI shit. I'm You're trying putting to stay your foot down. Me. Okay. Yeah, like I don't want to, because it, it, that kind of ruins the moment. Because honestly, this whole is it AI or not thing is kind of ruining this moment anyway. I agree. Kind of taking some of the steam out of it. It is annoying. Yeah, so it's annoying. So I didn't even want to like hear none of the lyrics from AI. I didn't want to hear none of that shit. So went directly to the source, um, and he says, no, that's not it, but this is it, and sends me the actual record. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, okay, is the AI worth listening to? He was like, it's it's not AI. It's pretty much the beat is different. It's a different take. Um, so I listened to the actual record, and I'm like, okay, this is a this is a solid response. This is like a all for one special, mm-hmm. one size fits all. Pause. Let me just address each and every one of you. Um, of course, there's more. Uh, let's say tailored, more tailored releases to come. Yes. Does he have to go one by one with these responses before we get to the actual? No, nah, uh, I think that he's dropping. Done. Give me fifty. Yeah, no, I think that he's done. I think that this was only meant. Uh, this was only meant for one specific person, but throughout it all, you know, other people had kind of jumped in and kind of raised their voices a little bit and expressed their decisions on what side they were choosing. Mm-hmm. So this was kind of like just addressing all of that. But I think that from here we get a more centered, more focused. Drake Kendrick battle. It's it's funny what production delivery and drops can do to a record because it was it was funny to watch the entire Twitter timeline kind of do a one eighty from the AI version to then the mastered real version. Mm-hmm. Pretty much the same exact lyrics except for a few things. Yeah, but it just hit way fucking different when you had the energy was different. Production. The energy was different. Um. It just it moved a little differently. It felt a little more like, okay, it's on now. This is it. He mm-hmm. had that energy behind it. Um, it was some interesting lines in it. Some interesting lines that I I I, I kind of laughed at and you know had fun with over the weekend. Well, some of the, what lines did you like, Maul? What in particular? Um, I wanted to start start at the top and just go through it. We can go through it. <laughs> oh, you want to start? Okay, so let's start at the top. I like out the gate. All right. Out the gate going at future, I thought was great because that was kind of on the low outside of the Kendrick one, the one that all of us were like, damn, they beefing. But I feel like he went kind of light on future. Should we just go by artist or do you really want to break down each each bar? Um, Go by each artist. OK, future out the gate. I could never be uh, nobody's number one fan because off the album, I think that was in the intro, right? Mm-hmm. He was calling Drake his number one fan. Mm-hmm. Do you think he went light on future? Yeah, because this isn't, I don't think that this was ever about him and Future. I think that, again, through the, uh, the like that record, um, obviously that verse being on Future's album is kind of like a retweet. Mm. It's like, you didn't say it, but you retweeted it, which means you jacking what was said, you're cool and you're fine with what was said. Um, and again, so now if you're driving the vehicle that somebody is shooting at me out of, I got an issue with you too. Mm-hmm. So I think that that's just what that was. I don't think we'll get uh, too much more aimed at future. Can I speculate? Yeah, that's what this all is. This is all speculation, by the way. I thought when he went light on future, that maybe that's somebody he doesn't really want to play with because future knows where the bodies are buried outside of everyone that he was dissing in this record. Nah, I don't think that's what it is. I just think, I don't think that he ever really had smoke for future. It just happens to be that song is on his album now. Him and Metro have a more uh real issue with each other. I don't think that. Uh, Future and Drake have a real issue. I think Future's caught up in it because obviously Metro is his family. Um, so he's obviously, you know, choosing Metro side in this whole thing. And obviously the verse is on a Future and Metro album. So Future naturally has to feel uh, some of that. He mm. has to feel some of the heat from these response records. Yeah. Okay. But I don't think that him and Drake have a real thing. I think out of all of this, I disagree. I, I think there's real smoke between the two. Nah, I think the smoke. I think the smoke is just because Kendrick's verse was on that record. I don't think that they had a real issue before that. Like obviously, him and Metro had an issue before that. So you don't buy any of that uh, little sex worker in 
Let me not call it. I don't. I don't. I don't. Relationship. I, that was mean. I, I was quoting fifty. I highly but that, doubt that woman that everyone brought up from whatever I city. I highly doubt that Drake and Future would have a rap beef over uh, a woman. I think that sounds pretty on par for uh, what they would beef yeah. about. That's not. That's not within their wheelhouse. That's not the first. Girl I think that's that, the only thing they would. That's beef not about. the first girl they have in common. It's not. Oh, I'm first. sure. Yeah. yeah, of course. Yeah, so but, why, they, so but they maybe they both had a little crush. No. They're, they're not, they're, Maybe she's not, a good listener. <laughs> this is not. This is not about a girl. This is strictly that song. That verse is on your album, and so you got to stand by that. Mm -hmm. You got to stand behind that. Like that's on your album. That man said that about me on your record. Got you. So I found myself over the weekend turning into what people hate about J Cole fans when they defend their favorite artist and try to tell other people, "Y'all just not really listening to what he has to say here. It's going over your head. Drake is too smart for y'all." I was doing that over the weekend. Why? I was trying to break down the drop and give me 50 bar to anyone that would listen. And the entendres that are in that, as for outside of Kendrick doing burpees and push-ups in the park. Mm -hmm. I think that's a very clever way to avoid the, I've been extorted by Birdman, my splits suck. That's always been shit push brings up, everyone mm -hmm. else brings up. Mm -hmm. All right, Kendrick, you too. Yeah. Every time you have to do something, you have to give 50% to top. Mm -hmm. And this is just an alleged rumor. I don't mind gossiping because everything about hip hop beef is gossip. Yeah. They're just gossiping and they're just rhyming it. This better. is all a big group chat. That's all this is. There was a rumor that he had to pay 50 million to get off of TDE, yeah. to get dropped from the label. Mm -hmm. So drop and give me 50. That's a triple entendre, Maul. And I think there's more. But the I know we're not allowed to give Drake any lyrical credit. I know that's like against the hip hop rules. Mm -hmm. But I thought this was a very clever first shot. I think he smoked everybody. I think he put everyone in a position <laughs> where now they really have to reply without subliminals. Yeah. You can't just get weekend to croon over something and then sub about some girl you both fucked uh, seven years ago. Yeah. This was a great fucking first shot. Now, I think Drake is guilty of a lot of the things that he accused all these people of, but I think that was a good angle to take. Like what? Because you can't get that shit off now. Um, I think first with the splits, I think tricking on other men. Um, I think some of the Toronto stuff, I think the, what's some of the Toronto stuff, just that back and forth with Chubbs and Sal and cash. And like, we know that one's probably going to get in the weeds of some shit that we don't fully understand. So I think he was trying to get those subliminal Toronto gossip shit that we may not know about mm -hmm. out the gate right away because that's what I think the other side is probably going to give to the rappers. Mm -hmm. I think Weekend and Kendrick have spoken. I think they're going to give a lot of Toronto dirt and this was Drake getting ahead of it. Just my opinion. Yeah. I think there's a lot of stuff with that whole uh, robbery in Toronto with Drake. Like, There's a lot of Toronto gossip that I think is going to be an angle and I think he got ahead of it with the weekend XO shit. I don't think gig. any of that is going to land. I don't think I don't think it's going to land either. I don't think any of that sticks. I don't think any of that unless you have a pedophile missile that you can send at Drake, there's nothing you can do that's going to like change people's perception of him. I agree. That well, much. You have to have you have to have something where a 14-year-old girl has proof that she has sexual relationships with Drake. Yeah. If it's nothing like I don't want to hear about no 21-year-olds that's legal. I don't want to hear about no 23 year olds. That's legal. I don't saying you fuck 23 year old is crazy. That's in a, in a beef. You know, I'm you just saying this is, this is just where the angles might go. You fight, you like fucking young girls. How hmm. old was she? 22? Okay. That's yeah. not going to land. That's not going to stick. Well, Ghost writing. We know Drake gets help with some of the fillers on, on albums, but all of these writers will tell you, yo, when I got there, that album was done. Mm -hmm. like, homie writes. Like, and you let's can't not get it take up. that angle with him because it doesn't, it failed before. Like you don't, you're it loading up a failed. gun that already jammed. It failed this weekend. It was yeah. a it was alleged that Metro leaked the Yachty reference of what is it a uh, jumbotron boys or something jumbotron uh, shit popping. Yeah, and it's like so so. <laughs> like I said, yeah, and well, most of listen, that shit. I I'll never be mad at a rap fan that has an issue with that and puts an asterisk next to Drake's name in that regard. Listen, I'm just not one of those people unless it's a timestamp record. If on the poppy shit, if you want to get. Majid Jordan to write you a pop song. 
I'll fucking dance. If, I don't if, really care. If it's, it's not a timestamp, if it's not one of those like bars where he's giving us bars, if it's not like if it, if I hear a reference to his Churchill Downs verse, I might not ever listen to hip hop again. That would be the missile that would take Drake out. Like if I hear a reference to that, he didn't write that Churchill's Down verse with Jack Harlow. That's we, when it's time to have we a know the story behind it. He wrote that one in ten minutes. I'm just saying, if a reference track was to pop about that, then yeah. or did he memorize the reference like, track and then wrote it down? Oh yeah, that's a good memory. Yeah, that's, <laughs> he spit it in. Dude wrapped it in his ear and Drake like, okay, let me got, say that. Got you. Hold on. Yeah, I got you. <laughs> yeah, like unless it's some shit like that, there's nothing that you can do. I don't think Drake is one of those people that live a weird, crazy, nasty life outside of music. I don't mm. think he's one of those. Uh, type of people <clears throat> um so yeah if it's not like the you know the things that you kind of see online that pop up about him every now and then with him and young girls if it's not something that's concrete evidence of like some really super young girl there's not much that any of these guys can say that's going to put a chink in drake's I mean, armor and, and have us looking at him a a completely different way we spoke about a few weeks ago when the like that verse came out it was like yeah it was cool but now you're in a predicament of somebody that has pretty much beat every last crazy moment you could think of. Yeah. It's it's the fucking eight mile B rabbit round at that point. Like yeah. what could you really say? Yeah. You can't just in this day and age, you can't just out rap him. That's not gonna be enough anymore. No, you have to you have to assassinate his character. There has to be yeah. a charge involved. There has to be some there has to be some type of character assassination where we're like, wait, he did what? Like it has to be one of those. If it's not that there's not much that these guys can say. Now, you know, I love the fact that we're getting bars and getting music and things like that. Um, I do think that Ross stepped on a uh, a moment, though. His response was a little too quick for me. Um, um I think I think that I think he, he stepped on an angle that Kendrick could have won. Oh, and laughing. still you have something go. to say? Hello, baby. Do you have something to say? Yo, man, nothing, man. The goalpost is in a fucking U-Haul. Like, I just How? now we're complaining that Ross Going responded to Canada? too quickly. He responded like two hours after the three hours after the record I came it. out. I thought, yeah, I enjoyed it. That's it. not fire. That's, That's not fire. dope. If anybody nah, else, I, I just, I'm just saying, I thought that was just too. If it was the next day, I wouldn't have been like, three hours. That he was a little a video too of him quick. in the studio laughing, and then two hours later, this came out. Yeah, that's what I'm, that was a little too quick. Why? What's wrong? Because with that? it was like, yo, hold on. First of all, those bars to Rick Ross in the shit wasn't. I don't think there was anything too malicious there. If I can remember the bar. It wasn't so much about the rap. It was just the speaking at the end talking about uh, the white boy. and White boy. Yeah. And the BBL. And no, no, no. I'm BBL, talking about Drake. What Drake said to Rick Ross. Oh. Oh, in his... Uh, <laughs> in his... Ver in Drake's record. Yeah, he said, um, I might take your latest girl and cuff her like I'm Ricky. Can't believe he jumping in this nigga turning 50. Every that was song that, every, every every song that made it on the chart he got from Drake. That's a fact. Which is true. Spend that little check you got to stay about my business. And, well, on the original... uh leaked didn't he have some a diddy line that he took out he he yeah there was a diddy jab in there that he i think it was removed. every song that he uh made it on the charts he got from drizzy uh i think you just need to focus on you and diddy or, or something along those lines was in the first version mm -hmm. not the final okay and i'm sure that's the one ross heard, heard and ran to the studio i don't think he even probably heard the final one <laughs> until later in the day i'm not listen i'm never mad at, at at ross responding i just think that that response was a little too quick because this was everyone waiting for drake to respond to kendrick and kendrick's verse on like that i mean nah when you he said his name he's like involved. no I, yeah all right follow me i'm not mad <laughs> that rick ross responded. you sound you sound furious i'm not mad that rick ross responded so you're i'm just thinking that he responded a little too prematurely is what okay I'm so you're lightly upset no, I'm not upset. I'm just like, damn, like your I get you're, it because it's right. You, somebody you hear somebody say your name in a way, you're like, all right, I'm right at you. Respect. But I think that this moment was meant for Kendrick and Drake. Okay, but also Ross, to Julian's point as well, like it was a cool song with a great beat, and then he talked he just at the end. Him. Like there's only one line that like you got your swag from Wheezy or something. No, listen, he didn't even I, really reply per se. But he like, put out he put out a response. response yeah, is what I'm saying, and I'm, I just feel like that was a little too premature. That beat was fire. Um, but fire. I love I love the that fact. Beat listen, is so great. good. I'm never gonna be mad at rappers rapping, J Cole. I'm never gonna be mad at that. <laughs> Why'd you do that? All right, man. Oh my bad. What I said? we just piece things up. Oh my bad. I'm sorry. I'm never gonna be mad at rappers rapping. You know what I'm <laughs> You're saying? Referring to me. Never mind. I'm never gonna be mad at rappers rapping. I'm just I just think that that was just like damn. Hold on. Like this is. 
It's between these two. Like, you could get your shit off, but hold on, hold on, hold on. Let but that sit. He, but if you're him, why do you give a fuck about Drake having a moment? If anything, I want to step on your moment. True. Yeah. Yeah, because that's what all of this is really about at the end of the day. Moments? Oh, I know the angle you're about to take. No, it is, though. Go ahead. It's about people not feeling like they have the favor in return as they once had from Drake. He's The last two years, his focus has been making music with 21 Savage. Mm-hmm. Uh, very selective with the features he's given out. Big Yeet. Um, Tizo. Harlow. 87 City Tour. So he's been on the road. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I feel like a lot of the guys that kind of felt like they had a r- great working relationship with Drake, when usually when they ask for a record or a verse, they get it a response or they get it back in mm. a timely manner. I think that uh, that kind of stopped and slowed down. And I think that people kind of felt like, well, damn, like you ain't fucking with me. Well, all right. I'm calling Cap on Ross at the end of the record saying I followed you because you sent a C&D to French. I'm calling Big Cap on that entire thing. Mm -hmm. Why? That is not a reason for Rick Ross, who has had a great working relationship with Drake for over a decade, Mm -hmm. to do something that he did to also to another artist because it didn't make sense for him to put out a verse with everything that was going on. On top of that, he even made a big three reference that I'm sure he wrote well before Kendrick had done that shit in the, mm-hmm. the French Montana leak. Drake says the, uh, the other two are what? Madonna and the Beatles? Mm-hmm. In reference to the big three. It's him, yeah. Beatles, Madonna. Of course Drake is going to send a cease and desist to that. Mm-hmm. I can't record right. Like I cannot put a record out. Right. Everyone's going to think this is a response to Kendrick. Why the fuck would I do that? He did the same thing to that. Um, I forgot the rapper's name. I think he's from uh, Houston. Oh, yeah. He, he got a Drake feature, which was great. Up and coming artist, but had to take it down the night before. Mm-hmm. He was disappointed, but he got on Twitter and was like, Yo, Drake told me this, he can't be seen rapping right now until it's about Kendrick. Or people are going to misconstrue everything he wrote in that verse. About Kendrick. So you think that's why Rick Ross unfollowed Drake? No. Bullshit. I'm calling complete bullshit. I'd like to know what really happened between the two of them. Um, Cause that, that's cap, that's cap. Well, I mean, I asked him about that and he's, he was confused about that. He mm-hmm. didn't understand the unfollowing at all. So him hearing that verse for all oh, that record from Ross, hearing that, uh, that was the reason. I'm sure he probably laughed like, wait, that's why you unfollow me? Like, but if that's not the real reason, then why lie about it? I just don't get what. Oh, listen, that? we can go. How, how much time we got? Because we can go down why niggas lie and say they don't fuck with somebody no more. Yeah, but I'm saying, but if you if you don't fuck, just yeah. why not just be honest with why you don't fuck with him? Why make up? Because a lie it makes you look bad. It makes you look like who you really might be. Well, the you I- might you might be jealous. You might be bitter about something. Well, they all are. What men? What man wants to look jealous? I guess that's true. It was odd timing though, because Rick Ross's baby mother had gone on live or some shit a few weeks ago and was like, yeah, Ross be talking wild shit about Drake, this and that. Yeah. And that. Then all of a sudden Ross unfollowed him and was like, well, I guess his baby mother had a point. But to say it's over French Montana? No. Nah. I highly doubt that. Highly doubt that. If, but- you're, Meek, if you're Meek, how do you feel? <laughs> I felt really bad for Meek this weekend. Why? Ross put out a diss record because Birdman was being mean to Khaled. He put out a diss record to Drake because he quote unquote sent the C&D to French Montana. I didn't even know Ross and French were even that close. So when Drake, Me- <laughs> when Drake was kicking his ass, it was like, where was Ross at? Yeah. Ross was trying to be like, yo, it's, new, it's neutral, bro. <laughs> yo, yo it's neutral, big bro. Well, that's yeah. because, because Meek started that. He jumped out the window and started that. So I'm not jumping in yeah, some shit like, that you started. That, that Birdman disc, what's the name of that record? That record is incredible. And I'm not mad at this Drake re- response. If I'm Meek, I'm sitting there like, bro, where the fuck were you after back to back? Where bro? was you at when them <laughs> niggas was <laughs> I was getting my ass whooked. Was you didn't send a text. Where, where, was you at? Me. where was you at when that nigga had me in the full Nelson? Where was you at? Idols become rivals is the Birdman disc. That record is so good. That beat is crazy. I wanted to go back to what Maul said really quickly because I agree. I think if you're Meek Kendrick- Meek to make up piss stories. Ross, where the fuck were you? <laughs> if you're Kendrick- I'm if I'm Kendrick, I'm upset that everyone else is responding and rapping. Give me the one on one. Don't make this look like it's a gang effort. Like we're coordinating this as like a cohort. Just let me go at him alone. Yeah. So and that's why that's all I'm saying about the Ross record. Yeah. I'm like, I'm listen, y- y- y'all know how I feel about Ross. We're gonna talk about that. But I was just like, that was just a little too you you shot too quick. It was like, hold on, fam. I know he said your name. He had you in that, but hold on. Because this is a this is a bigger this is a bigger moment that we're waiting on right here. Yeah. I get it, though. As a rapper, you hear your name. You're like, what he said? 
And I, I got a studio in my house. All right, come on. We're going downstairs real quick. Like, that's easy. I have a studio right here. I don't have to get dressed and go nowhere. I get that. But premature. Too soon. Stepped on the moment. Took some of the air out of what Kendrick could be thinking, uh, what Kendrick could be responding. Because now it was, oh, shit, Ross, Ross shot back. That's mm -hmm. what it turned to. It turned from everybody reacting to the, the, the Drake record and wondering if Kendrick was going to respond right away because he obviously been waiting for a few days. Um, so that it took that and turned into, oh, shit, Ross responded. Now it's on between Ross and Drake. Now, this Ross and Drake thing is interesting only because these two have so much great music together. I, we didn't even check on you over the weekend. I'm, I'm sorry. Outside of Hove, I would say Drake and Ross were your favorite rappers, no? Yeah. Like, so this was like, damn. But you and Khaled need to pick a side. Uh, and, uh, and, and more than one thing. I, um, some other Khaled, wars too. I Khaled's will. never been quiet in his life. <laughs> yeah. All of a sudden, he's got nothing to say. Nothing to Yo, say. All nothing to memes, promote. Nothing to promote this week. Nothing to say. All nothing those memes of Khaled crying, like, damn, Khaled can't make an album now. <laughs> yeah. It's over. But um, in this, though, because we've seen it. You know, obviously, Drake and Meek went on to make music together after their whole beef. Um, as long as there's a certain level of respect that isn't crossed, um, I think that there's room coming out of this for us to get more Ross and Drake records. Um, because they're, we talk about it a lot off, off mic. If Ross and Drake had a versus with just their records together against any rappers, mm. it would be a hard night for a lot of rappers. Um, do you think it was a bad move on Drake's part for posting? that text exchange with his mom and calling Rick Ross racist. No. I that think that's, fake text exchange. That shit was not real. I think I think that's all part of this. I think that's 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 where this thing is at. It's just two guys who genuinely have a genuine respect for each other, um, just having a moment of going back and forth. I don't think it's no real uh beef. I don't think this well, is beef. I think they're just just rappers naming each other's names and you know airing out what could be a text message, what could be in a group chat. It's just that the public gets to gets to hear it. I mean, as someone that is a Karen, I can tell you one of the most Karen things to do is to call your black friend racist for teasing you. To call your black friend racist? <laughs> to, to your white mother. I mean, I think again, I that's think this is going to backfire on him. No. I know you don't give Kendrick a lot of credit, but I still think Kendrick is a great rapper. And so, I think giving so him Kendrick, this ammo. Kendrick is going to call Drake a racist now? I think he was, was going to go a whole angle with Cole and Drake on the race side, to be quite honest. Yeah. Oh, I thought that was the, the angle he was going to take because Drake, Drake you can't call him a ghostwriter. Drake like, isn't black. I'm not, I'm not saying he's no, not. I'm just asking. Nor is, is that, it my call. I'm talking about Kendrick Lamar. Right. No, I'm saying, saying that's, is that the angle? Okay, that the I'm angle? the one that's saying Drake is not black. No, I'm saying, that's the, is that the angle that you think Kendrick is going to try to take? <laughs> yeah. With him and, and Cole? I don't know about Cole anymore since he apologized. I think but, he'll leave Cole alone. Oh yeah, I forgot. So, um, so <laughs> I, no, you didn't. I forgot. You did not forget. That fast, I forgot. You didn't forget. I forgot that we're not talking about that guy <laughs> that used to rap. I'm sorry. Um, I'm so disrespectful. What about uh? That's what, crazy, Mo. What that used to he used to rap. He don't rap no more. He does. He rap. I mean, he, I think he's taking a break. And side so, note, I just oh, want to say, I after this weekend, I can look and call and be like, you know what? I understand why you got the fuck up out of here. You was over here like trying slap box and niggas had guns. Like, okay, oh, but we ain't playing. We ain't all like friends. Oh, don't, okay. show, don't show up on the street then. That, if, no. if he would have just not replied at all, I would have been like, Cole is extremely smart. This isn't even his beef. Stay home. He walked outside and shot. So he has to live with the Shout out to my guy, Boss. That's all I'm saying. Boss, I fuck with you, man. Shout out to E. So you think that uh, Kendrick will go that route? If he does try to go the race car route, that's not going to be enough. That's not going to work. I think the route that... We've all seen Drake's dad. All right, the way... Uh, <laughs> The way Pusha T so, started. What does that mean? We've seen his dad. If we never saw his dad, we could question it. We've seen Julian's seen dad. My they, dad? They, they still don't. Yeah, I'm, but I'm the whitest kid in this room, apparently. <laughs> exactly. How did that happen? Drake, Drake's been an actor his whole life. Uh, He's playing who he thinks he needs to be. Well, act. I mean, that would be blackface. <laughs> How long have you been waiting to say that? <laughs> no, I'm just saying, like, he... All right, bro. It, look, he's, he, Canadian, he he's Canadian and has a white Jewish mother. Come on. I'm not even that white. He has a black dad. So, so, so my dad's mean? black. Have you ever, have you ever been to Toronto? Like the hoods of yeah. Toronto? Have you ever grew up in Toronto? Did he grow up in the hoods in Toronto? Have you ever hung out in Toronto? Have this you ever spent real time? He was making bank on Degrassi as a kid. Like why? He was doing well. Okay, not, but what does that mean? What does that have to do with anything? No, yeah, I mean, it's, it's good for Are him. you suggesting yeah, are you that suggesting you have that black to, kids don't do well? I think he's saying that he's not black because he wasn't poor and he thinks all yeah, black people are exactly. poor. Exactly what I'm saying. No, that is what you're saying. <laughs> that's what, you're that's saying. what you just <laughs> said. Yeah. That's exactly what you just said. Yeah. He's making bank. <laughs> black kids don't make bank as kids. Only Jewish kids. Oh, yeah. I forgot about that. <laughs> he's black, he bro. Banking. 
He's black. That's that, that's, that's not gonna, high, that's not gonna I, land. But that bar is not strong. I'm not even talking about. But I like the thing I liked from Ross was fuck the the rap is even though it was cool that he did it so fast. I like that he's attacking his character, like his blackness. I think that's that you have to troll Drake. You can't out rap him. So but, just make fun of him. Oh no, that's but not wait, what they Ross think. Is, People think that he can be out rap. Ross's yeah, lyrical ability, he has to keep it funny. Ross is going to win in this entire thing. Because He'll get funny. a dub if he stays funny. funny. If he doesn't take it too seriously. Because this is not real beef. That's why it's going to be fun and jokes and it's the memes and it's the all of that. Uma Thurman asks Drake if he needs the fucking suit Which from is fucking, fucking Kill Bill. Flex. <laughs> that flex is fucking. Is, I crazy. think he won just off of that. He did post That's himself me, as, a, as a white woman, though. He did what? Drake did post himself as a white woman. No, he was. Okay. <laughs> What's that song? Sandra's Rose. I said they should change it to Sandra's Nose. That's Who said that? That's pretty funny. The internet. Oh, it's pretty funny. Up. Um. The way Pusha T started story of added on before he got to you were hiding a child. Yeah. I think Kendrick is going to take that route on steroids. That's what I'm saying. You know what I think? Hmm. I think through all of this, we find out that Kendrick is not who we thought he was. Just like through all of this, we found out J. Cole is not who we thought, we thought he was. Bringing him up. I'm just saying, I think that that's what we get out of these things is that who we thought our horse in the race was is not who the horse really is. Uh, I kind of agree. I think Kendrick is still going to show improve in this, and Kendrick is still going to be Kendrick. I Kendrick think we're going to rap. Nobody's. I think we're actually that. going to. Drake, I think, may get his flowers at the end of this entire thing. Because because how that's we, what you do well. That's why this thing works here. See, because what you do is you say what I say, but you say it in a more politically correct way. No, I don't. I think I we're said, saying something different. I said we're going to find out that Kendrick is not who we thought he was. No, you no. say. Drake is going to get his flowers in it is. It's the same shit. I We're think, saying the same shit. I think Kendrick is always going to be who Kendrick Lamar is. No one was really questioning Kendrick, and I don't think they're going to question him after this. I think- He's the boogeyman, no? I think Everybody's scared of him. Because- That was the aura. Drake thing. is going to fare in this battle with Kendrick. We didn't think Drake was that. The masses. Well, who didn't think The masses. That? Just hit refreshing your timeline. So I don't understand how people I think we're going to look at Drake differently in a better MC way after this entire thing where we wouldn't. I think Kendrick is, is going to stay Kendrick. I don't think it's going to heighten it or lower his this mysterious MC shit that he has. Nah, I think we'll finally look at Drake I, like, damn, I, I right, look at you, that totally different. I think that you went Kendrick, against the one everyone claims if Kendrick the best. doesn't come on, come out on top of this. I think everybody that thought Kendrick was the, the boogeyman and Candyman say his name. I think all of that shit is, is totally different. I don't think anybody's going to win this battle. What? I don't think anybody. So what do you think is going to happen? I Just because the Jay way Prince. I've been seeing people critique every diss that comes out, I think that, I think that this is that we had previous kind of set the bar. If you're not disrespecting someone or blowing up their life with a huge bomb that we didn't know, everybody's like, it's not enough. It's not enough. It's no, not enough. The thing but is, that's you know what it is? Because this is not a real street thing. This is not a real beef. Mm -hmm. exactly. A lot of the other rap beasts we had, it was some real shit behind it, like some, you know, things that shouldn't, it shouldn't go that way. It should just be music. Mm -hmm. This is the first time that it's literally like somebody saying, I think I'm just better than you. Mm -hmm. A word? So let me see. Show me. Exactly. Which is why I don't, which is why well, I think I that this know. is an exhibition and I don't think that. Oh no, it's a, it's a battle. It ain't an exhibition. I, I believe Drake at the end when he says, this isn't everything I know, don't wake the demon up. I, oh, no. I believe Drake in that when he says oh, that. Oh, you heard the end of that. I was really, really trying to keep it PG. I know where that's going. Y'all going to have captions for two summers behind PG, that next record. PG Lang? Come on. The flip's there. What, what do you guys think about the bodyguard Whitney line? Because Whitney is the name of Kendrick's. I, did they mm -hmm. divorce? I didn't really know at the end of Mr. Morale. I don't know. What's I know he broke on. a generational curse at the end of it. I don't know what be going on in his house. He's on man now. So that's, I don't know what be going different. on in people's houses. <laughs> we never knew it yeah, I don't until know. Kendrick told us. I don't know. Um, I'm waiting for that next one. <laughs> I'll tell you that. I'll wait for that next one. I'll tell you that. I understood the bar as far as Whitney Houston, Bodyguard, that whole shit. Yeah, but you, you understood the other bar too. No, I, I didn't. No, I don't know the, the T. Stop <laughs> acting like you don't know the entendre. See, that'd be my problem with y'all. We got all this shit wait, in wait. here. What, am I, what do I know about Kendrick Lamar's wife and a bodyguard? I know nothing. I did. It did perk my ears up to say, oh, he said another rapper's wife's name. All right, as long as you perk. <laughs> Wasn't there rumors oh, that she sure. was sleeping with the, one of the bodyguards? I, no, I don't know. No, bro. That's all. I, I mean, again, all speculative. I, I saw that on the timeline. And I was like, I've never heard that. And that feels like a reach yeah. to me. But um, clearly it meant something. Uh, it, oh, it always means something. Naturally. Nothing, nothing in this goes without intent. Nothing, he didn't just say Whitney no, out of nowhere. <laughs> nothing in this. Go. He didn't just watch the movie Bodyguard and say, hey, I'm going to put that in there. No, no, no. But no, I, no. I think 
because I think this has something to it, I like this bar way more than I like the I'll make it ring on you like uh, Virginia Williams mm. or whatever. You wasn't really feeling that one? That was the only bar in Duppy that I was like, eh. <clears throat> And that's why he lost? No. no. I, I'm just asking. No. Because he sat oh. in the same barber chair that Ice Spice is about to sit in. Oh, okay. Uh, so that's why he lost. That was the creepiest promo I've ever seen. Ice Spice? I thought it was like wax figures for the shop. Mm -hmm. He's doing the shop? It was Travis, I think. Her. Oh, that makes sense. I saw the promo today, but all right. Either way, to what Damaris was saying as far as like the personal bombs and all that, I think that's where Kendrick is very vulnerable because we've seen the craziest things ever said about Drake. So that shit doesn't hit the same to someone that we know nothing about. Mm -hmm. Little jabs are going to sound crazy. Mm -hmm. The way that bodyguard Whitney shit hit yeah. lightly because we know nothing about Kendrick Lamar. So light shit <clears throat> is going to look crazier than huge bombs you can put on Drake. Yeah. Even down to the, I mean, I hope to God the pedophile shit is not a thing. But he's been caught texting like child actors. Not saying anything was going on there. Mm -hmm. It raised some eyebrows. But even that to me is like, yeah, he's been, we know that. Mm -hmm. What the fuck are you going to say? And you can say anything about Kendrick because we know nothing about him. And this is why Kendrick is at a disadvantage. He's never been through this type of thing. And that's why I kind of do understand, like, the more I think about the Cole situation, I think that when Cole jumped out there, he felt that energy and was like, nah, I'm cool. Mm -hmm. Like, because now I got to sit here and just anticipate and wait to hear what somebody has dug up, what information somebody has dug up about me that they're about to announce to the world. they all have dirt. Like, I'm about mm -hmm. to sit. Do they? Yeah, mm -hmm. small. Come on. We know we're in this industry. Especially but if my dirt is out already, like. In this industry I'm at cool. the level they're at, and we know how these guys of that caliber move. And they do a very good job of keeping things under wraps. But when you invite the energy for someone to reveal that stuff, sometimes you just so want to keep You want to live in the lie. So you live think that it's impossible lie. for somebody to be super successful and not have any dirt on them that's going to make people look at them like they're a complete piece I don't of shit? Think it's, I, don't think, I don't think it's impossible. I think it's very rare, rare especially in, in not, I'm not even putting this in hip hop, just in, in entertainment. It's very rare for people of the A-list status that have the world at their disposal to just live a, a legally peaceful life. You're doing some shit. Something's going on. Mm. And, you and, that, and that's sometimes exposed. you pay a lot of money from your PR and you're, the people around you, you pay them well so they don't say shit. Mm -hmm. But when you invite people that aren't in that camp to talk about your shit, they'll air it out. Mm. They should air it out because that's that's the beef part of this. Like, okay. So I, you know, <clears throat> if I don't want my I don't want my shit out there. I'm bowing out. Bye. Mm. I'm gonna live in this lie. Yeah. Um, what did you guys think of the Rolling Loud stage? I would turn. That was slick as hell. Shit will probably change if your BM starts to kiss and tell. Travis. Yeah, the, I mean, of course, I'm kiss and tell is a Sierra joint, and that's Future's baby mother. But I think that was more towards Travis than anyone else. Yeah. I thought that was a cool yeah, gossipy entendre. What's What's interesting though, I is, think we're reading a book with different chapters. Well, we got the first chapter, so like a lot of these lines are going to make sense as we. Agreed. Yeah. Go further. I agree. Um, but what is interesting is who can really reply to this besides Kendrick and Ross? And <laughs> I'm not saying it it's some weak shit because they were dissing him. He's just replying. Most of these people cannot reply. Metro can't reply. I, future can Make reply. I, I don't know what a future diss record is going to sound like. I'm not trying to discredit him. It might actually be fire. But it's not what we're looking for as far as... Uh, rap caliber level of Drake and Kendrick. Uh, what's The weekend going to do? Croon? Yeah. I mean, the uh, give us, you know, he gives us a little... I'll be honest, in I In the middle never, of his bars, he might go into a little flow where it's like, okay, that's not really singing. He's just getting his, his shit off. He's talented, so let, I'm like, let me shut up. Maybe we can, can rap. For all I fucking know, he's a great writer. Um, I would never want to hear a Travis diss record. Like, a lot of these people, I don't care for them to reply at all. Like, well, it's, yeah, it's almost think, not even fair. Like, why did you diss somebody that could rap really well because when they reply, you can't really There's reply. There's nothing you can do about that. And also, like, uh, to just, if they wanted to reply again to bring up Ross, don't rap. Just say what say what you want to say about this guy. Do do what Ross is doing. Troll him. Film you say, hey, 
the nose is fake. Yeah, but that's if you're, not a if lyric. You're, he's just saying your nose. <laughs> I mean, is fucking most of the fake. shit Ross said, he would just said it. You but, just said it. <laughs> right, Ross no, is doing is, great because he's just saying dirt. But he also did have to rap. He didn't. He we really didn't need that rap. He could have just done the IG stories and well, done which like is, the whole. Which goes back to which goes back to what I said about him jumping out there prematurely. He could have just started posting memes and, and and going at him like that. The record though, I was like, cool, you're a rapper, so I res- I'm gonna always respect when ra- when rappers rap. But it's like that was just, it was like, hold on, fam. Like, let 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 them have that moment. I understand he said your name, but let them let them have. It's almost like little mama walking on stage. <laughs> Stop. Kind of, I see where you're taking. You understand? It was like that's it was like yo, they didn't, they didn't call you Obama from names. you from New York. I get it. You from Brooklyn. I get it. Like you know what I'm saying, Jay from Brooklyn. I feel like you might mm. feel like you know this is like you're kind of like you have a space here, but not right now. Kind of fall back. Let them have this moment. And then you can get your shit off. But um, I think it gets very interesting from here. I think that, uh, you know, obviously we're waiting for Kendrick's response. Well, his official response because of AI leaked this morning. Which stop with that shit. Oh stop with the AI. It's ruining this. I moments. agree with you. I agree with stop. you. I, I agree. The AI shit is like. Because it's such a it's such a. Because you can use it both ways. If the record is trash, you can say it's AI. If it's dope, you can say it's you. Mm. So it's like, that's why it's just, for me, it's like, you know, I, I understand technology and where we're in and everybody is in a rush to hear things and click on shit and all of that. But, you know, I, we, have to, we have to try to avoid that, though. Keep that out of music as much as possible, especially in moments like this where we're all sitting, waiting and anticipating great music, great bars from some of the dopest artists that we have. So the AI shit is like kind of taking some of the fun, fun out of it, but... I think that's something that we probably just going to have to. It's like landmines. We got to si- sidestep those as much as possible. I think had the record not leaked, we would have gotten some Rocky bars through this entire thing. I hope not. Because on Friday, was it Friday? Yeah, it came out Friday. Uh, y'all know I've, I like Rocky a lot. That was one of the worst diss replies I've ever heard in my life. Wait, Rocky rapped? He's got a verse on the second album. The, oh, that, oh, oh. Which, which, by the way, and we, we will get to that once we get through all the gossipy shit that happened this uh, weekend. That's a great fucking album. That intro record is crazy. But you think the yeah, second album is great? Line. I like it much better I, than the first. Yeah, really? Yeah. I like it a lot. I like them both. Yeah, I'm, like not the even a, I'm not even really a future fan one? like that. I like the first one more, but the second one, well, actually, I don't know, because the second one's a little more R&B, and I, like, very I, R&B. Like, that, I like that future more. Nah, y'all tripping. That's not better than the first. Like one. when he did the double disc last time, the uh, the self titled one, and then Hendrix. I liked uh, Hendrix more because it was more. It was a little more pop than this one, but it was still more R and B. The self titled one was all rap. Well, yeah. So Rocky is on there, and he did what he was supposed to do. You dissed my wife on your last album, and oh, in a sure. ve- you crossed the line in a very disrespectful for way. Sure. Rocky did what Rocky was supposed to do. I just hate what he said. <laughs> like I just thought it was a terrible. Replies to that old shit. I, well, nobody's looking for Rocky. I to, fucked to, your baby mother. But nobody looks for Rocky to bar you down. Though. But Rocky is still very witty at the end of the day. So I wouldn't. I wasn't looking for any lyrical miracle crazy shit from Rocky at all. But I think he's way more clever and witty than saying, "Oh yeah, guess what, Drake? I fucked your baby mother before you, even though you didn't want a wife her." <laughs> like, okay, you fucked my baby mother that I'm not with before me. Great. Mm. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> Could have kept that. Is Rocky <laughs> is Rocky's case still uh pending? That one incident that he had. Oh, I think so. Yeah. I yeah. Think. This line doesn't. I mean, that's not good. I like, want to see a fuck nigga bleed out. I mean, while you have a pen, like while you're actively going in the system, I don't know. Just maybe not. It's just. It's just. It's just. Honor. It is just rap, but just you know they don't really. They don't about. just honor it as rap in the court system. <laughs> yeah. I do think Rocky wants to see Drake though, like not in a non rap way. Same. I don't like want violence to happen at all. This is just my opinion. No, he yeah, he definitely wants it. I mean, Drake crossed the line. I don't know what happened behind the scenes, like he mentioned in whichever song that was on the deluxe. But yeah, like he Drake went fucking crazy in that verse. In my opinion, stepped over the line a lot. Well, I mean, there's gonna be line stepped over. There's gonna be you know disrespect. There's gonna be a lot in in this rap battle. I think that's what a battle is all about. It's all about can we, after this, coming out of this, what happens? What, mm. what does it look like? What does the landscape look like of music, of rap, of hip hop? 
yeah. of alliances. So Rory who's thinks, fucking with who? Rory thinks this is the last rap battle we'll ever see. Do you agree with him? For mainstream rappers, yeah. For mainstream rappers? Of this caliber. For, I think for, I, I know I sound like an old pessimist, but I, we continue to talk about how there is no next generation of rap superstars. There's great artists. I'm not saying, mm -hmm. I'm not that old. But as far as like rappers that can rap, there is no huge mainstream or appears to be stars coming behind this big three. I get what this, you're saying. It's this, as far as this rap, is done. Enjoy being these able moments. to really like rap, rap. Um, yeah, there's not many that I think of, of, of this caliber. There's great rappers right now, but I'm I think we'll get some. I think we'll get like, yeah, stars. we'll get some. We'll get some different tier. Different tier of a yeah. rapper battling it. We'll get some of that. Oh, but for sure. This level hip hop's never gonna die. Yeah, it's this just, level though of these artists that can sell out like arenas and things like that. Like, I don't know if we get that in a in a in a very long time. I'm I'm agreeing with you. That. I don't I don't know if we'll see this this type of these these caliber of an artist uh, going at it. I don't think we'll see this for a long time. Mm -hmm. I agree with that. Well, yeah. we all spoke over the weekend. Uh, what did y'all speak about? You too. I'm talking about. You spoke about me. Oh. Yeah, I spoke to well, you. Oh, to, to you. you. <laughs> okay, yes. So I'm saying I, I, we, we agreed. I just wanted to reiterate it here because I don't think we've said it yet. Drake's diss was the first official shot. This is the start, right? Yeah, I think I thought y'all said that Kendrick started it. No. Yep. See, that was the see, warning. See, this is my problem with y'all. This is my problem because y'all said that Kendrick started it. I feel like I'm being yelled at. You said Kendrick parents. took the first shot. That's what y'all said. We can rewind the tapes. Y'all said, and now we were waiting for Drake's response because the fight has started that was a that was a when i came here and said okay well then let kendrick release the record that he has nah drake gotta respond to that if the fight has started already when j cole said it's a warning it's at the end of it i said well the fight has started already why are you warning somebody if the fight has already started now y'all saying that now the fight has started because drake has responded yeah, they tripping with that. I'm like, but come on, man. Stop, stop, what stop I the shit, like bro. Like that started it. Stop the shit. Like that started it. I said Drake's, that. Drake, see, is, now I'm I agreeing said, with no, you. No, no. Now you agreeing with me today. I, but when I came here and said, right. yo, like that didn't warrant a response from either one of those it gentlemen. It does warrant a response, on, but it's not a man. diss record. Drake's on, is a man. diss record. If you, Drake, you if said Drake, you said Kendrick was a diss. You said everything he said in that verse was a diss. Nah, Yo, he I, said he's going to bury his dogs. He said he's going to bury his dogs. He did say K9. He did yes. say K9. Yeah, he did. Get and you know, his so name now, starts so with now, a K. Oh, but now that Drake responded. Kung Fu Kenny. Now, here's, now here's the, the fight has started. Let me try to, let me try yeah, to yeah, explain it some, to you. Y'all some, some bad some right, of my bitches. Bro. Let's say if Drake did get on a French album and just put a verse there, and it was a couple lines about Kendrick, then I'd be like, all right, this is just a, a back and forth. He put out a full this record kendrick put a verse on a song he started oh. it still warranted a reply but to me this is the first official disc record y'all boy record that's my point they've been shooting uh verses at each other for 10 years y'all yes. good y'all well, good y'all look good point they've been trading shots on verses for years that but those aren't disc songs this is a disc record y'all are good what all right. I, I thought control was a disc song that y'all been waiting for. 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 Y'all been waiting for other rappers to say Unless Candy Man. Y'all been waiting for every it. rapper to say Candy Man for ten years, calling this nigga Kendrick the Boogeyman and all kind of shit. So if it's, uh, the fight officially started, nobody just wanted to fight Kendrick, right? That's what everybody was saying. No, they the sent back subs the same way. Matter of fact, I feel like Big Sean has sent direct shots at him. People have replied to Kendrick with subs in verses. Not a full record. I commend Drake for doing this, but to me, now that's the this is the first round. Okay. And we're, for at, the the, we're at the bottom of the first right now, waiting yes. for Kendrick to reply. Now we're at the bottom of the first. Now we're going to talk baseball. Well, because well, he he would have went pro. So I'm just trying to put it in joints. Somebody hit me. <laughs> somebody swung at me. I swung back and I hit harder. Nah, Kendrick now was, the fight starts. Kendrick dropped the pin. Kendrick dropped the pin. Drake, that's not the, that's not the tune you were singing two weeks ago. You Ken realize you're saying the exact opposite of what you said two weeks ago. Oh, we all change our minds sometimes. To, to me, right, to me, Kendrick, Kendrick and Drake were at the weigh in for like that. That was the way. Well, these motherfuckers got more analogies than a little bit now, don't they? <laughs> now niggas is at weigh-ins. They at Yankee Stadium. What else, man? Come on. You know, go. like a way when they crack talk back Jackson. and forth. Yeah, yeah. Now, now Drake, now, the bell just rang. Now the bell just rang. Now niggas is yeah, in the ring. Now. Yeah. All right, so uh, all right, if that's the case, then Drake the is up one nothing. Come outside and fight. Exactly. And then Drake came outside and now Drake yeah. swung. 
It's like right? you, I, I knocked on your door, come outside, bitch, fight me. And then yes. now Drake has come outside. Yep. I still believe, now it's I still point. count like that as a diss. But they're oh, changing their diss. tune. I'm not changing my tune. I'm standing on my oh, shit. Yeah, of course they want to change their tune. Because now Kendrick is the horse in the well, ring. If and, Kendrick replies on a, a verse of someone else's song, he lost. It's done. Over. I don't care what he says on that verse. He has to reply with a diss record. Oh, we no. Have, I, we are now no, no, at no. records. I think that's, that's And happening. Drake was the first yeah, one to do record. a record. That's happening. That Kendrick is definitely releasing a full record. Like, I'm. let's be clear what we're saying here. Nobody's saying that they think otherwise. I'm just saying it's just funny how now they're like, oh, now the, the fight begins. When it was like, oh, we waiting for your boy to swing back. We waiting for him to respond. Okay, he responded. Now what it begins? I thought it was already started. Somebody for swung at him. Records, now he's Yes. Okay. So you think... Okay. Like, so did you think Takeover started it or Nas's freestyle? Like, on whatever stillmatic freestyle. I would because to, to me, Takeover started it. I can't remember a lot of those little freestyles that was happening back then, so I can't, I can't really go back to where I, th I think I think it started. But Takeover was yes, that was the official on album record that was like here. Because even then, people don't even count like H to the Homo, which is a great freestyle. But like, yeah. that's not even. <laughs> 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 it's a, listen, man, Nas's words, not mine. Yeah, that's funny. <laughs> That's a great... People should go YouTube H to the homo. It's a great Gazy and Cockafella records. I always found... Even when I was young, I was like, why'd you take it there? <laughs> <laughs> like, dick sucking lips made me uncomfortable as an 11-year-old. Dick yeah. sucking lips is a crazy <laughs> bar. Oh. Uh, but I think it's similar here where they were throwing little freestyles back and forth, but the fight didn't start, in my opinion, until TakeOver. Mm -hmm. Then you got Ether. I think that's kind of what we're explaining here. There's been shots back and forth. Kendrick solidified like, you know, this is a this is a direct jab, but now we're in record territory. Okay. So that's why I think we're at the bottom of the first. It's on Kendrick. Clock is fucking on. And I think Drake set a great standard. I thought it was a great first punch. Yeah. Probably, I don't know if I like it better than Duppy, but it might be my favorite Drake. This is a great this, this is, by it's the fucking way. great. This is a very it's very a great good angle start. too, outside of like the jokey gossipy shit. I thought it was a great angle. Making Kendrick look like he's not this big boss and the big three that he is. Like you've been a worker the entire time. Mm -hmm. People have been told told you to do everything. You didn't build a company. Like I thought it was a great fucking angle by Drake. Um, I could, think that could this, get messy though. I don't know. Oh, I think it's going to get very messy. I think the I think the <laughs> you know I think the next record that we get from Drake, I think is what's going to separate the field. Is that the nuke that I uh, keep referring to? I saw you, you over the weekend you tweeted it's, the um, uh, the red button. It's um because I know this one wasn't it. No, no, this was great, 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 start. great first first round. I think the nuke is coming after what Kendrick does. I think, and if I, Kendrick shit is trash, does Drake have to reply? I say yes, yes, yes. yes. Not only will he then you can bury him. Not yeah. only will he reply. I think that, like I said, I think you start to see the separation. Like, okay, can Kendrick rap? One million percent, but there's a clear difference in what they're able to do with their rapping ability. Mm. Do you think? Because uh, we said, you know, once you once you invite this energy, you're inviting all the dirt that comes with it. Is it the raps, or is it the information that they're going to leak about each other that really makes this the, the moment? <clears throat> I think, like I said, I think because in a battle, you know, if you go to URL and you see guys like Lux and all of these dope, you know, r battle rappers on stage. The, the bars that land are the more character assassinating bars. Yeah. When when Lux, you know, in Calico, one of the most classic battles we've probably ever seen, that was a, a masterclass in character assassination from Lux. And it was a dumbed down version <clears throat> of Lux. Right. Like, it was just more about the information and the message than it was. Mm -hmm. So when you get that, when you get a uh, rapper that has the ability to do that, but then also has the ability to, you know, Drake has that ability to throw these melodies and these rhythms in between that that's people get on the first listen that make them like what they're hearing like you can say drop and give me 50 girls can say that that part right there where the beat is moving girls can shake to that you know what i'm saying it's like it's and then rap nerds like me can be like love that triple entendre exactly like, it's a great balance it's, yeah, it's so a lot, that's what he's good at in there. It serves every audience he he tries to please every listener as best he can in the moment but still paying close attention to this is still a battle and this it has to be venom behind what I'm saying. It has to sting. It has to land. And I think Kendrick is going to show us his rapping ability. I disagree. I think that he's going to show us his, uh, you know, how he can flip metaphors and things. I think he's going to give us a, a great performance. 
I just don't know if it can stick as much as what Drake can do with his diss record. I don't know why you guys feel that way. I, Kendrick is too smart. He's not going to do a bunch of alien voices rapping really fast. I think we're going to get the more dumbed down version of Kendrick. Like, last round Lux. I think we're going to get that type of Kendrick. He's going to dumb it down for a rap battle. And if he does that, he has to have something that he's saying that's going to for seriously sure. yeah. assassinate yeah, yeah. You, can't just, just you can't dumb it down and just fuck. You can't dumb it down and say, yo, like, <laughs> you hit your kid. And Ooh. She's supposed to be your rib. And it's like, my nigga, like, oh, I'm an Arabic. We ain't trying to. Like, like, I, yeah, I hear you, but we ain't need that. Like, you like, Why you eating pork ribs? Yeah, it's like, yo, fam. You're like, all right, I get it, but come on. We didn't need that. We got that already. Yeah, I think to, to your point, Ma, and I agree, you should dumb it down. I think Kendrick's artistry, his like aura could be his own downfall in the situation. Because yes, this is a battle and it's rap, but it's commercial battle. Do y'all y'all really don't think Kendrick like studies hip hop? Oh, no, 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 no. I'm not. I'm gonna say I think like, I, I, I love the jokes too of like we're gonna get him over some jazz sample and like alien voice and all that. Oh no, no, no. That's we, we do know you Kendrick do Lamar is one of the most intelligent artists. That's, yes, ever. that's just he's jokes. not gonna approach this shit like let me go make to pimp a butterfly, but Drake version. Yeah, I just don't no. want him to get he's too gonna, artsy. Just guess him. I think he's gonna find a DJ quick flip and go crazy in a very oh, dumb he's gonna, down. Way. He's gonna give us he's gonna give us a performance for sure. That's gonna be dope. But I just again. I just don't see him having anything that's ammo that would that's warrant gonna, him to dumb it down. That's going to like I get really, really hurt or like have people looking at Drake coming out of that round like, yo, you did what? Well, do you think that? Well, I mean, you could say the same thing for Drake, though. Drake didn't say anything that has people looking at Kendrick crazy. Oh, uh, has he? Yeah. In this another a, record coming in this disc, though, what there was no bomb. It's just a good this record just let, and no, it's, just it's let just you know okay i'm here now different people and too. he also pieced up like half the industry <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah so at this point <laughs> which to me made them look goofy at this like, point the only thing we can judge is rapping ability but if i mean either I one of them know. drop bombs then we're literally looking at who out wrapped up when was the last time that in a battle like straight rapping ability was even brought up like you could say the golden era even with jay and nas beef like that was about gossip and dumb down shit too mm-hmm so to, to Julian's question, yeah, it's about what you're saying. It's, it's not who can really rap better. It's about what you're saying. <laughs> you have to be able to assassinate my character in front of the world. Yeah. And I have to come out of this looking like a totally different person. Mm -hmm. That's what this is about. And I think that... Like, Big could rap way better than Pac, but starting a record with, that's why I fucked your bitch, you fat motherfucker. Hard. Like... <laughs> yeah, Kendrick what, gotta go I don't care though. how good Big could rap. <laughs> yeah. It's like... Uh, it's like, yo, he said, what? <laughs> Faith <yeah>. did what? <laughs> 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 It turned into that. Like, wait, she no, she did. No fucking way. No, she didn't. Wait, there's a picture of them. Oh my god! Like, that's what the shit is. It's gossip. It's hip hop all is so gossipy. It, it's all women shit. I wish that people. It's had feminine. Hip hop is feminine gossip. as fuck. No, it's shit. not women shit because men are gossipy. It's men shit. And I'm so happy that that's coming out. Men are gossipy as fuck. No, no, men are all of hip hop is that because all I've been doing is gossiping all weekend on my phone. Oh yeah. <laughs> With your feet in there. Oh my god. Laying on your stomach on the sitting, bed. I've been sitting on the bed. Yo, real bleep this. I've been sitting on the bed like a all weekend. <laughs> oh man. Are you kidding me? NBA fans, listen up. You've got to try Pick Six, the newest fantasy app from DraftKings, an official partner of the NBA. It's that time of year, Rory. It is playoffs. I always like to go over on Steph's threes. Anytime you see Steph Curry, give me the over on threes. It's gonna be more. It's, it's just a, it's just a safe bet. Another me. one. With this pick six, pick your six, you set it. And forget it. Mm -hmm. I like it because if I don't put the bet in, it's already set. Yeah. You know what I'm going for. You know what I like. This is my six. Roll the tapes. I like it. Pick your favorite players and compete for huge cash prizes. Download the new DraftKings Pick 6 app now using code Rory Mall and take the competition with your best NBA player picks. Only on DraftKings Pick 6 with code Rory Mall. The crown is yours. Gambling problem? Call 1-800-GAMBLER. 18 plus in most eligible states. Age varies by jurisdiction. Eligibility restricts apply. Pick 6 not available in all states, including but not limited to Connecticut and New York. For up-to-date list of states, visit dkng.co slash pick six states. Void where prohibited. See terms at pick6.draftkings.com slash promos. Yo, hey, Rory, you know what I wish, man? What's that? I wish we had something that we could wear when like we got a flight, but then we have to land and go straight to like a meeting or mm. lunch. But that's why I like Mack Weldon, because they have okay. minor performance fabrics. True. It keeps you stylish, but it also keeps you comfortable, which is what we need. Absolutely. And the boxer briefs are amazing. The air knit. Oh, yeah. No, I can, do, I can do this a lot. Yeah. It's great. One of my other favorites is the classic polo. It works in any environment. Mm -hmm. I can wear it in meetings. I can wear it out with my friends. It's one of those universal pieces that I enjoy. 
I love the silver crew neck tee. Okay. It has a good collar. You need a good collar on your t-shirt. Yeah, because anytime your collar starts to look like bacon, yeah, that's you not, look a little nasty. Nuts. We don't need that. And, you know, you get like the cheap fabric after 1 p.m., it starts to do yeah, that little curling sag. thing. It's, it's, it's nasty. It's good to know by 6 p.m. that collar is going to look like 9 a.m. Get timeless looks with modern comfort from Mack Weldon. Go to MacWeldon.com and get 20% off your first order with promo code Rory Mall. That's M-A-C-K-W-E-L-D-O-N.com. Promo code Rory Mall. It's funny because the shit that we probably thinking in this battle, I'm trying not to like, you know... Hit, hit Drake and like see where he's at. I'm like, but he, he hits me. So like, okay, you want to open a text conversation right now? Because I'm staying off your line. I'm thinking like you got shit going on. I don't know what you doing over there at the crib. So I said, yo, how you feel about, you know, <laughs> the Ross record? I'm really trying to gauge him. Like, damn, he kind of stepped in. He was like, he said he was richer than me and I turned it off. <laughs> <laughs> But that's not what Ross said, though. Yes, he did. No, that's not what he... I don't understand how that bar is going over <laughs> everybody's said, head. He said, yo, he said he was richer than me. What's the exact, let's listening. get the exact bar. Let's get that's the exact right, bar. Because I explained that to Rory yesterday. Yeah, I thought the same thing. Damaris did break it down. <laughs> that's I, not what I he heard said. that. I was like, hmm, it's basically saying, angle there, Rick. <laughs> no, it's basically saying... Yo, turn it drink. off because the nigga say he richer than you and you know that's a lie? No. Break, break the bar down, please. That's I'm sorry. No, because Damaris saying. broke it down and she was... Right. The reason why Ross changed Maris, his, okay. the reason why Ross changed his voice when he said that bar is because he was impersonating Drake. Like basically, Drake is saying, "I got more money than you," and Ross is like, "Fuck, you want me to say?" Like, yeah. I got this house. Like, fuck, you want me to stay? He should have like, just like pitched his voice up a little yeah, bit more. He should have made his voice higher. I don't <laughs> yeah. think he can though because of the type of voice he is. But I think uh, it's Pro like, Tools yeah, can do anything. Woo, you got more money than me. Like, what the fuck yeah. you want me to say? I'm a millionaire. Okay, you got more money than me. Woo, like, got more money than you. Fuck, you want me to say? Oh, 50 uh, million yeah. in the crib where you want me to stay. He's like, yeah, like you're richer. But look, I got 50 million dollar yeah. crib. <laughs> like, Shut up. Yeah. Like who gives we're a all fuck? very rich. Yeah. <laughs> Which is a good response. Because it was funny when Drake told him to spend his little check. <laughs> stay out of my business. Yeah. He said he makes more off. What do you say? He said he makes more off merch than. I thought that was a. um, The Kai thing. <clears throat> I thought it was a Kanye. Little Kanye jab. The merch. Begging Kai tonight, boy, you're not fucking beating us number wise. I'm out of here. You're not fucking creeping us money wise. I'm out of here. You're not fucking sneaking up. Cornball, uh, your your show money, merch money is a fee to us. I think that was a, a Kanye thing to me. I could be completely wrong, but remember when he was begging, he was beefing with Kai. He's not telling Kanye that his show money is merch money fee to them. <laughs> Nobody's saying that to Kanye was. I this is the first time I feel like you can get money bars off to, to Kanye because he's definitely in a transitional period. With yeah. everything that has happened. Yeah, but that don't mean you could get that ball. That's you what still I say when I make ball. a payment arrangement with T-Mobile. I'm in a transitional period. <laughs> <laughs> you see my wife is ass naked outside. <laughs> Boy, so I'm, I'm, getting, I'm getting head in public. <clears throat> I'm definitely poor. <laughs> On a gondola. <laughs> with my ass crack out. <laughs> um, oh but nah, well, that's, that's funny that you say he was gossiping all weekend. I know my, oh, gr I mean, my I girl was looking at me crazy like, all throughout the weekend, sitting next to her and I'm tomorrow watching TV or whatever. Get a phone call from someone. Get up. Did you hear what he said? Yeah. <laughs> like, we doing all of that. Meanwhile, yeah. the dude that's yo, entrenched in this shit is like, yo, man, I just want to hurry up so I can just go on vacation, man. I'm just so right I think now, I was a, I was a walking ick. What, that's what it is. Ick. Oh, I, I was an ick to my girl all fucking weekend. Yeah. Like, nah, but did you catch this bar? I was like, uh, yeah. I know she was sitting there like, calm down. I've never had you were more phone adult. calls in my life on a Saturday over just some just some hip hop shit. I called Armani was the first call I made and he's in LA. It's nine o'clock there. I'm calling him at noon. We're both giddy as shit. Like, <laughs> I mean, this like, I'm about to diss someone. Nobody got pussy <laughs> this Yo, like, it's ain't it, man. I almost, I almost want to like play our passionate rant from the last episode to Kia. Like, you don't understand how much we love hip hop. This is This is our thing. Yeah. Like men are not allowed to have anything. No. This is yeah. our this is all we have. It's all we have is just letting rappers <laughs> diss each other on a beat and just talking about it. This is all we have, ladies. Y'all have like not. Nah, you, yo, you think that he fucked his BM? Like really? Yeah, but this is different from sports though. Yeah. Like the playoffs is getting ready to start. Nobody gives a fuck. Shout out Knicks two yo, seed. Knicks two seed not I didn't in. even think about it. Yo, shout seed. out to the, the Knicks. I've been waiting my whole life for this. Holding down the two seed. Uh shout out to Julius. He just had a uh, shoulder surgery. Uh, this week, um, get well soon, bro. Get back out there next season. Uh, but the Knicks is number two seed. 
Fire. Brunson, give him the first team all NBA. Stop Jaylen playing Brunson with him. needs to be league MVP as far as I'm Stop playing with him. He needs league. I think he needs to be mayor of New York. Yeah. Well, I mean, I well, think anyone could take. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Anybody can do yeah, that. Mayor Adams had. Yeah. Yo, the Knicks are doing so good. I saw someone on Twitter compliment Dolan. I was like, whoa. Yeah. Things are changing. <laughs> this is crazy. Things are changing. But quickly, before we get off the Drake and Cole thing, I'm sorry, not Drake and Cole thing, Drake and Kendrick thing. What did you guys think of the Cole theory at the end of the record before we move on? What was the Cole theory? Uh, I don't care what Cole think. That dot shit was weak as fuck. Champagne tripping. He's not fucking easing up. Uh, calling top to see if top want to piece it up. Top want to piece it up. Top want to piece it up. Now you pussy. Now you on your own when you speaking up. There's a theory that that whole thing is actually about Cole and not Kendrick. Nah. I don't think so. I don't I'm think that whole thing about it. I think anything at the top. I'm not saying that. Up. Just saying there was a theory that, nah. <laughs> that Cole tried to call top, which this is why no. I don't think that theory works. It's like you could just call Kendrick. You know? Yeah, because it's not piece it up. It's not. I don't think Cole was trying to piece anything up. I think he did what he did because, you know, he felt like I'm not willing to go get too deep into the mud with this shit. Like, so I'm going to just step out. I agree with you guys, but that was a theory. And I think him saying, now you're on your own, pussy, is you're not with Top anymore. Like, Top can't save you. Yeah, that's exactly what he's talking about. But there was a huge community thinking that nah, that was really about They're going to do that, but that's, <clears throat> that's, 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 that, that, that first part is cold. That, everything after that is for Kendrick. People have shitty reading comprehension, too. Like, that's what I've noticed with a lot of, like, this rap beef shit. I'm like, I need y'all to just, like, sit and read the lyrics and y'all will catch. Because that. Drake is not... <laughs> he doesn't. He's not gonna beef with Cole because of what Cole did. No, he's not, he's not gonna do that. Like it's so, I'm glad he said something though. Well, yeah. I mean, that was fucking crazy. And <laughs> I was supposed to be there. He yeah. he's still thinking about it through that lens. Like I really almost went to that. You shit. know how much jet fuel costs? Yeah. Like I really almost went there, and I would have been there when you did that. Like he would. I don't. You still. Th well, now I'm thinking he might have still. Because Cole was gonna close the show, right? Yeah. yeah obviously, he closed the festival. Though. Cole was gonna. He was gonna do that. You know how crazy that would have looked? Drake just got off stage. He's still back in the fucking trailer. <laughs> and he hear you out there apologizing. Like, like, nigga, I flew away down here for this shit? Nah, he, he should have ran back. He put on his dirt bike gear for this? Him. Yeah, like, nah, bro. Like, I just think that he just was like, you know, Cole just, we found out that Cole just wasn't, he didn't want that anxiety of having to wake up and keep hitting refresh and see if the world is dissing you and laughing at you getting dissed. Like, that's that, that pressure can be a lot for certain people. Some people can't handle that. That's why I'm not... You know, I'm not mad at Cole. I just think the way he did that was just like, damn, you ain't have to do that. Like, you ain't mm. have to apologize like that. But, you know, it is. Well, can I give take a second to give women their flowers? Because that's apparently my job on this podcast. Well, all of this is because of women. But go ahead. It's true. That is true. And not the one you're about to name. Uh, shit, I, just wanna, one I just want to give Meg her flowers oh, and Nikki God. too. Me oh, look at you. Oh, it's fucking killing oh, no, you, I, isn't no. it? I'm glad you added Nikki's name in there because you had a different tone yesterday till I brought that because up. Because I, I, because Sad. Meg kicked it off. Yes, Nikki responded and so shout out to both of them yeah. for being the first ones to put it on fucking wax and to have a diss moment. But Meg kicked the year off with a diss track and she was also the first person to allegedly diss Drake this year. So I just wanted to give her her flowers because her and Nikki did start that energy. Even though I did not you like Nikki's sitting around diss, hating I'm each other for years and not Putting out real disc records. I think this would have happened. Megan and Nikki? But no. No, she's saying the men weren't actually, there was all these subs and never oh, a straight shot. So Megan dis uh, Drake? Yeah, she did in uh, that Hiss record. Right? Uh, no, I can't, Hiss. I don't know oh, sorry. that those things are for fact, but allegedly everybody was saying that Hiss was towards Drake. Oh, so you're saying what Megan did mm -hmm. is now. Why I'm just saying she kicked, she kicked the energy off. Ken just Kendrick the felt there. comfortable with his canine ball. I didn't say that. Meg diss Drake in January. That. Oh, okay. I didn't gotcha. say that. But I was just, <laughs> no Me Meg you. and Nikki kicked off pieces. I don't want that to be lost. Shout out to Nikki. By well, way, shout out to Meg. Rap. She's on tour right now. So shout out to Meg. Um, but shout out to Nikki. I saw at one show she had um she had uh, other like up and coming female MCs. She had Bia, uh, Malibu Bia, Mitch, uh, Malibu uh, JT. Mitch. Yeah, it was great. Yeah, I thought that, was that, that record. All the people that were on her super freaky girl. I, yeah, I, I, I thought that. that was fly for Nikki to to, to share that sh stage with the uh, with the rest of those uh, women like that. That was fire. And by the way, update since we're bringing up Megan Nikki, even though I did not like Nikki's this record, she still won. Nikki, Spank, okay, Spank okay, her, her this record to who? To Meg. Nikki's this and Meg. What the fuck do I be at for this? This is oh, we had a whole we had a whole episode about it. It's called Bigfoot. Whole episode. On oh yeah, yeah, yeah. See, see how fast that shit don't even. Phew, I'm gone. But yeah, whatever. That's how forgettable. It was. Why didn't Meg reply? 
She lost. She said she, she said she was never going to reply to anything. She said this is for who was Rappers for. Rappers say that all the time. Drake said she was like, I'm, <laughs> yeah. on his first yeah. album. She said this is for yeah. who was for. Just mean you'll never hear a reply for it. She said hit dogs gonna holler. You been fucking dissing people since and that was dogs that. gonna holler. You t- it also, it wasn't a good, it just wasn't good. It and wasn't also, good, but it was still a reply and you can't diss somebody and they reply and then you just stay quiet. You lost. Okay, that's your opinion. I'm sure there's gonna be shots all over the album, but I mean, it's been a long time. Okay, well, let's follow that logic and apply it to this Drake Kendrick thing. If if the if it's trading paint until so, how do we determine who wins and loses? Yeah, how do we de- determine when I, to stop? That's it's tough it, to it, say it, because battles end differently all the time. It's the so amount I don't even of know. dirt that's revealed. That's how I'm I'm it, scoring this. As long as, long as you don't go on the shop, <laughs> fam. Just, that means you. That, that's an L. As long as you don't, don't go on the shop, spin it. As long, I'm just saying, as long as you don't go on the shop. We can't go back and forth for 10 months with this shit. Nobody, nobody cares that much. Yeah, but we definitely cared to hear the reply of you are hiding a child. Oh, yeah. No, no. I agree with you on that one. <laughs> yeah, definitely, I, I was I definitely anticipating I agree with you what he was going to say back. There's this, uh, to go to Kendrick's disc, the looming disc, there's this whole thing about him having one that's been in the making for four years. I believe that. Well, where is that? Well, this week. Hard drive. Where is it at? Where is it at? Because when I said this nigga had two years to prep, Everybody kept saying, yo, waiting for Drake to respond. So where's Kendrick at? If you had only two years to do this, you have been working on this record for four years. Where the fuck is the record at? Well, to your point of saying Ross should have waited more time, it's been Sunday. It's been two days. <sighs> okay. So I think we're going to get a Kendrick reply this week. This week. I'm glad he's letting it breathe to the same way you felt, oh, felt about the Ross thing. Oh, you're glad now he's letting it breathe. Let it breathe. Let it. But when Drake was still on tour, I was like, so what? He got a room, right? He got a bus. He got a studio in it. Yeah. And didn't he record it on that fucking oh studio God. bus? Yeah, boy. I and tell also, you, boy. Um, you got to stop saying so that we were Kendrick right. had two years to respond. To, I mean, two years, two years to for this. Two years for that. Like, you like, oh, Kendrick had two years to this tour ended in like 2022. That. He hasn't been doing anything. He since. didn't create the like that this and for two years ago. He I'm not saying no, 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 the no, stuff he has in the clip. That's I think not what he's saying. He's, he's, He's been wanting this. Yeah, the alleged. He prepared, like, okay, prepared yeah. alleged and like that was starting like, his rollout. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, I came in here and told y'all that Drake old. was still on tour and y'all didn't care about that. Y'all can't care about a nigga that hasn't been doing anything since 2022. We're but, saying he's on the clock. What are you but, talking about? Yeah. Now. But sometimes, I'm not even trying to defend Kendrick, but sometimes you don't, like, you don't lead with the nuke. Like, you did, The same way you, Drake didn't. The same way Drake. Yeah, we know this. We know. This is this charged is, up on steroids. Thank you. <laughs> Like, we know this is the warm up for Drake, too. So it's like, OK, Kendrick's like, I have this bomb, but it needs to be the right time to drop it. I'm not just going to throw it out there knowing that Drake also has two more in the tuck. So I I don't even think the bomb is the one that Kendrick's about to put out. Same. I think it's I think it's Kendrick will do uh, his version of what Drake did. Drake will drop the nuke. Then Kendrick will drop his nuke. And then we'll then we'll see where things and go. then we'll see. Exactly. I That's my I think, I think that Kendrick, I think Kendrick is Saudi Arabia. What? I think Kendrick is Saudi Arabia. I don't think he has any weapons of mass destruction <laughs> at all. Got a couple of planes. Not going to be enough. Mm. Well, I mean, I as mean, soon as America gives shook it. Shook this country up. Not going to be enough. <laughs> I don't, think, I don't, think, I don't think it's going to be enough to, uh, quote unquote, defeat Drake or assassinate Drake's character. I don't think there's enough out there. I don't um, think so. Well, you know what? Let me actually quickly <laughs> apologize to ASAP Rocky already in this episode. <laughs> I said he he had the worst diss reply ever. I take that back and oh, I apologize, God. Rocky, because Quavo beat you to that fucking punch on mm-hmm. Friday. I thought it was all about disrespect, though. I feel like Quavo was more disrespectful than Chris was. That song stinks. The diss stinks. Everything stinks about it. It just stinks. I mean, I think he's more relevant and more popping, but... <laughs> Look at him all shaking. Uh, <laughs> I, I'm not saying My anything. favorite part about the diss was the ad lib. <laughs> he said, don't beat her up. That's oh, funny. Thought that was hot, right? It's not funny. <laughs> as an ad lib, as um, an ad lib, that's funny. All right, I commend Quavo for replying. I don't. He's not one of those rappers in less than twenty four hours. Too. Even though I've heard him rap way fucking better than this, I don't know <laughs> if he thought he was going to make a record that was going to play in the club. It's not even a good Quavo like club record. Yeah, and Quavo can rap better than this. I think he made a huge mistake. Yeah. I don't think Chris Brown is ever going to let this go. He should have taken a look. I think Chris time. is going to see him in person. I think Chris is going. Remember that whole like three years where Chris was like rapping better than rappers? Yeah. I think he's going to tear him apart. I think we're going to get a Duppy freestyle version to Quavo. I think this was a huge mistake on every level going at Chris Brown. 
It's still not the worst disc record of all time. Though. I think Benzino's <laughs> was better than this. Damn. <laughs> Should we play it? You guys want to hear it? Sure. Quavo's? Yeah, just a little bit. It's like the worst Migos mix I've ever heard. Need to cross out your club. All right, so he's you know he's he's saying you're on a bunch of drugs and you hit women. That's that's the that's the angle here. How'd you feel about that? I feel like they probably won't be sitting next to each other at the next root event. Oh, tell tell me what that meant that. to you. Yeah. Yeah. I, I know. Uh, but either way, we we'll wait for Kendrick. I, I, I do believe Kendrick will respond uh, any day now. Um, and then there's obviously uh, more to come from Drake uh, immediately following that. So, uh, Will you do Patreon? <clears throat> I'm sorry, Discord Live with me the moment it drops. A Discord Live the moment it drops? The yeah. moment Kendrick drops. When That's Kendrick great. drops. Oh, Kendrick, Kendrick should do like a reaction. reaction Shit on Discord. You know how we do the oh, Twitter spaces yeah. last time? Yeah. Just put it on Discord. Okay. I'm not mad at that. So make sure you sign up for our Patreon so that the moment that drops, you are going to hear our first reactions. Patreon.com forward slash new Rory and Maul. Um, Reacting from the toilet. Yeah. Live reactions from the commode. Another apology um, to Coachella. I definitely shitted on that lineup. Even going into like the first day of Coachella, I had said off mic like, it feels very quiet for Coachella. Mm -hmm. And I was fucking wrong. Mad wrong. Super wrong. It looked like some of the best performances Coachella has had in quite some fucking time. Yeah. Um, but before we get to the music side, um, did you see the love fest that was uh, Jaden Smith and Justin Bieber? The yeah. Jays were at it. Yeah, I seen J and J went crazy. I see big shorts are back in style. Um, yeah, baggy pants are. With that comes. Do you think jorts will come back? I hope not. I don't ever want to see those come back. I don't know if I could like pull those off in a fashion way without looking racist. Jorts? <laughs> yeah. Why? I just feel like my face in jorts just screams, you know, DEI. What, 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 what's the new thing that they, that they use? DEI? Yeah, your face with G shorts is definitely school shooter. For sure. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely school shooter vibe. But like, be, but for the Republican Party. Oh, absolutely. Like I did it in the name of, of the QR. Right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Because yeah. you know a good guy with a gun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's better than the bad it's never guy. not funny to me. <laughs> Yo, that Republican riddle is the wildest yeah, yeah, yeah. shit in the world. Nah, but you got to really think about it. No, I thought about it. Nah. Still? Still not with it? Still not with nah, it. Nah, because okay. if he's not there, then who's going to shoot the bad guy with a gun? <laughs> That's a fact, though. It's, yeah. It's mathematics when you think about Someone's it. Someone's got to shoot. It's all science. I saw, I, this was on uh, YouTube Shorts, so you never know what's real and what's not. You know, the... Per capita with guns in America is 122 guns per 120 people. Or 100 people. That sounds about right. That's insane. Yeah. That's what it is. Though. I think the country behind us is at like 40 per 100. <laughs> Yo, they, they got to step it up. What are they We doing? have multiple. <laughs> <laughs> you got to step it up. 122 guns step, step, to every step 100. your numbers people. up, man. <laughs> those are rookie numbers. Got to pump those up. <laughs> you got to get them up a little bit. Um, well, anyways, yeah. Does anyone care about the, the Jaden Justin thing? I'm glad that that's how friends show affection. Yeah, I don't. That's just two homeboys, you know. Just two they miss each other. Man. Two bros. This is what each other. This, I guess, is like the male version of girls when they get drunk with their best friends and just like make out with them. No. Well, I mean, it's it's funny because I think Justin was trying to light his blunt, it's and then like I'm interrupted then, by a warm embrace from the back by my homeboy. <laughs> so instead of lighting. No, he got right back some to some Reggie. He, he just got, he got right back to light. Like, Did any of your friends done that to you guys ever? I've n I've never up behind my, me in two step and then friends. kissed me on my cheek. No, but maybe oh, me and my friends don't love each other like that. I don't know. Or like with the recent, you know, back and forth with rap beef right now. Maybe that was an ode to Birdman, because you know Birdman said he's riding with Drake, and we know Justin and Drake have a good relationship. So maybe that was an ode to Birdman. Mm. Yeah. I can <laughs> no, see, no, I can see Birdman. Don't agree with yeah. yeah. <laughs> don't yeah, agree I, with no, me. I see how your brain went to that. I get it. <laughs> I get it. Um, but to the performances. I just saw a lot of clips of the Tyler performance. Um, I do want to watch the full thing because it looked incredible. It's incredible. Uh, Tyler always is does a great job performing. But this seems even like extra good for him. Yeah. Which is already an incredible standard. Mm -hmm. um, he brought out Childish Gambino, I believe. Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, did he bring out anyone else? Charlie Wilson. Oh, yeah. Charlie did Wilson. the hook on Earthquake. Charlie Wilson. I feel like, I feel like Charlie Wilson is like Banksy. <laughs> I feel like, I feel like there's we more see him all the time. Yeah, I feel like there's more than one Charlie Wilson, though. Oh, okay, I see. I see where you're going. Yeah. Like he just ends up on everybody's features. Yeah, yeah. 
at Coachella. Yeah. Tiny desk. It's like fam, I right. He was probably in cut Japan this weekend. Yeah, too. cut the shit, Charlie. He was with Kanye and Saudi it's Arabia. It's nine of you. It's nine of you. We know that. <laughs> just nine Charlie Wilson. It's nine Charlie Wilson's walking yeah. around for sure. Gap band was just all him. It's all Charlie. You <laughs> know that? It was yeah. like the Hey Ya video. Exactly. Um he did say, uh, Tyler, that it said something interesting about Charles Gambino that uh Julian and I were debating. Well, not really debating, but talking about yesterday. He hated Childish Gambino until Earn came out and then was like, fuck, this guy's incredible. I was kind of on that side. I never really knew if Childish Gambino was doing like parody rap because he was a comedian and he could rap kind of good, but I felt like he yeah, was doing like Wayne. It's like, yo, is he? Is he really? Is just he, because you could rap well, are you really doing this? Then because the internet came out and I was like, oh, I'm sorry. This guy's yeah. incredible. Yeah. So I have the same thoughts that Tyler did. I'm glad someone else said it. Because I didn't, I don't know. Childish was like, all right, you're like, you're like a suburban Wayne in tight shorts. I didn't really know what he was trying to do. Mm -hmm. I, we, uh, I brought it. Uh, uh, I brought up Zach Fox as an example of kind of what like early Gambino reminded us of, but like not as deliberately funny, but like very witty and punchy bars. Mm -hmm. Yeah, coming from someone who wasn't as respected yet in music, so it was like, oh, like you can do this, but it doesn't. It just feels like you're just doing it to to exercise and whatever sound was going on at the moment that's what childish gambino i felt like he was doing and then i don't know what 180 he took after because of the internet but he's one of the he's yeah the greatest artists we have but um it was cool to see him do background vocals i don't I mean I, there's not much to say outside of tyler had one of the better performances i've seen tyler is definitely one of the the best performers best artists most creative geniuses that we have like i think that that's clear and and and, and cut at this point uh, but Childish is right there too, though. Childish is, 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 is for me, he just doesn't, um, he probably doesn't put out as much and as frequent music as Tyler. But Definitely not. But, but he's one of those artists that if Childish goes on a tour, his tour is going to look like that Tyler stage. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He's going to give us a full out production, full out like moment on his tour. Yeah. And I mean, he gets, he doesn't get the same pressure that we put on other artists because when he's not dropping music, you know, he's doing five seasons of Atlanta. Yeah. Like, <laughs> Yeah, he's in movies. He's acting, writing. Like, I I do hope he does get some time to sit down and do an album. Mm -hmm. I mean, I well, he don't. announced two albums. Oh, two albums. Yeah. So, Ada Vista, Rory is actually a finished uh, and more polished version of the one that you love. The gotcha. one that that's okay. the March fifteenth. Yeah, yeah. So it's yeah, it's that, that, that and then fire. the other one, Bando Stone of the New World. At least from the leak he played on his story, not the leak. He was on Instagram Live and teased a record. It's all rap. Mm. Okay. So we're going to get, it sounds like the best of both worlds. We'll get like the jazzier side mm -hmm. and then also a rap album out of him. Bando Stone. Is that what they call Stone Mountain in Atlanta now? Bando Stone <laughs> in the New World? That's kind of Because he's from Stone Mountain. Mm -hmm. Is that what they call it now? Or maybe this is one of those worlds that he created himself. I could, I could see that. <laughs> <laughs> it's one of those worlds that he made up and now we're going to see, get a peek into the world, the Bando Stone in, whatever was it, Bando Stone in who world? Whatever world Ice Spice is in. That's the what new I want to be in. The New World. You want to be in the Ice Spice world? Oh, that's I'm changing my my tone, man. Yeah, same. I'm I'm so, I'm sorry. I am sorry. I apologize. Mm -hmm. mm. She said, "Say, don't, say don't it have to apologize." I, because she's gotten better. I also cannot believe it. All right, it was self hating, guys. Mm. It was all self hatred. Mm -hmm. Us Red gingers, egg. gingers. Yeah. yeah, we hate ourselves. We look in the mirror and wonder why. There's a reason. There's only a few of you us. Couldn't we're, sleep? we're just awful human beings. I, I definitely couldn't sleep. So I came here. <laughs> Yeah. After after it's watching Ice Spice at Coachella, I could not sleep. Yeah, it was heavy. I on had to go. Yeah. Well, that's good. It was so Get heavy out. on my spirit. Get it out. I apologize, Ice Spice. You put on an incredible performance at Coachella. Clearly, you <clears> have <throat> been practicing. I mean, in her defense as well, they just threw her on Rolling Loud, I think, like the day after Munch came out. Yeah. And was like, go perform. Yeah. She's had some time. Incredible performance. Um, I still kind of see her as like too young of a girl to like you know, feel the way some of the younger guys feel about her twerking and everything. But mm -hmm. I mean, this, it was a great performance. I'm yeah, sorry. she killed this. I'm sorry. That leak sounds fire too. Yeah, and leaking a record at Coachella and it like working is kind of rare too. That's a risk. Yeah. Hell it, yeah. It nobody like knows your, like, nobody <laughs> knows the record and you perform yeah. it at a festival and we just sitting there like we don't know. We can't sing along with you. We can't rap along with you. It's like, we've never heard this, but okay, give it to us. Like just a bunch of high and drunk people going like, all right, hold on, let me... All right, let me try, try to, to see if I like this. Let me yeah. catch the melody. That's rough, but it, it it seemed to work at least from the stream. I don't know what the crowd was doing, but they the crowd was, was drunk. When she when 
and you know, like for Coachella and, and things like that, they tend to turn down the crowd. Yeah. Hers was so, it was so loud. Like the way that she, the reaction that she got, I was like, I love that for her. Um, who else? Oh, I mean, the greatest moment, I think, in Coachella history. Jay Balvin brought out Will Smith to do fucking Men in Black. I, that was dope. I wanted to cry because I wasn't there. Yeah, I've never dope. wanted to be some. That was dope. Bad. It's I, nice to I, see I almost Will. cried watching on my phone. <laughs> it's crazy how Will doesn't look much different. At all. From when this record came out. He looks amazing. And of course, we know he rehearsed and it was clearly a, a full production. But I mean, Will didn't skip a beat. When was the last time you think Will rapped, let alone rapped live at Coachella? The, yeah. did, he sounded better than in shape rappers. Right. Do some of this. <laughs> hey. Yeah. I love him so much. Yeah, I, that's dope. My I, heart just beat. I love him. So I much. love that. Am I corny that I love that he pulled out the, the make you erase your memory stick? Also, like and I was like, no, Will, I want to remember. <laughs> <laughs> no, that I was my, no, <laughs> that was so. I couldn't even say pause by that. No, I, no, I want to remember. remember. I want to keep my eyes open. Yo, I need what? this memory yeah. well. That's sick. Yo, I saw, I saw a comment underneath that shit. It said, uh, the only person that doesn't love Will Smith is his wife. <laughs> <laughs> yo, they're like, yo, everybody like, how loves could, this How dude. could she cheat on this? Yo, like, how could you treat him like that? Like, it's Will Smith for crying out loud. The man gave us men in black. <laughs> Yeah, I mean the the set, the backups, the aliens, the the alien had the middle. Like they everything about this was did, great. Did him and Jay Balvin have like a relationship? Yeah, this was random did, as fuck. I think I'm that, glad it happened. But. I think they do have a relationship. I think they do. I want to. Yeah, like I want to tie it into the whole <laughs> Bad to, Boys uh, to Jada. No, I think I think so. I want to tie it into Bad Boys somehow. But they've been they've been. I think they have been seen like hanging out for a few years now. Mm-hmm. But this I is mean, dope. This is dope to see Will. Smith. My wife cheats on me. I might go hang out with Jay Balvin. Yeah. See, see oh, where no, they you at. Know he know, oh no, he knows exactly. <laughs> see where they at. You know where he's from? Oh, he know exactly where they at. In abundance. Yeah. Um, but shout out to Will Smith, man. He looks great. Uh and obviously, I mean, who doesn't love that men in black record? And this is the nerd in me. Just like picturing that first pre-production meeting for Jay Balvin and just like, do you think Will Smith will do men in black? You're like, who shot that like, idea? Like, who threw that at the board and was like <laughs> Like who shot, shout out, and then shout out to Will too, because you know, a lot of times these artists, they'll uh pass on a moment like that. Gotta be an anniversary. And we that, yeah, like, we don't get that moment. Shout out to Will for just understanding like this will be a big moment for not only Coachella, just for just for people that love the record. I like a, a just cause moment. <laughs> right. Yeah. yeah. It didn't have to be for they didn't cheat them on the they're production. Re, they're re-releasing. It on high def. Yeah, I don't care about that. That was like, so, it was the most <laughs> random shit. So I know that people that, like, I couldn't imagine being there. Like, I would have been stuck. What I do hope, which I doubt it, but I hope this may be kind of like the lead up to Will doing a tour or just performing his music. I will go to a Will Smith tour in a heartbeat. Quickly, very quickly. Yeah. They're doing uh, another Bad Boys film. Yeah, Bad Boys 4. Um, like, why, why is there not more Will Smith, DJ, Jazzy Jeff combo on festival That'd lineups. be cool. I mean, because Will Smith is just too busy of a person. He's also, he's also yeah, big. way too busy. <laughs> like he's probably on set for films. What is, what is Will Smith after you? What is what? What does yeah, he do? Sorry, he, has, he can't make the fucking Will, have so, Will, Will, you have so much free that time. Lazy Come and fuck. fucking do and some. Come work. He has. Um, I know he's rapping on the soundtrack for this uh, album for the for Bad Boys. For Bad Boys with four now. Yeah, Bad Boys for Life. Is that what it's called? Mm-hmm. Oh, because the four. Uh, yeah, so I just guessed. I don't marketing. I know this is the fourth one. Yeah, we don't want to see uh five though. No, we ain't see four yet, but don't. three was shaky. Very. I seen him do some shit with, with, with Martin. I said, that ain't Martin. You look like the Irishman. I said, Martin ain't running that fast. Yeah. Y'all sped the tape up. Y'all sped the footage up. Like, Martin ain't running that fast. Stop. <laughs> it's like, all right, send these niggas to desk duty. Turn these yeah. niggas into like sergeants where they just at the precinct. Do something like that. These niggas can't be in the field chasing Cubans all day. Yeah, and I all word they're not catching the haitians like, they're not, not yeah like those are not stop. stopping for will smith i know will is still in great shape i know you're gonna put some dope suits on him and all that but we gotta find we gotta figure out where we gonna put martin martin gotta kind of 
You gotta stay get, in the cruiser. We, 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 we gotta. Y'all can't have my man yeah, Martin yeah, out the getaway stay, driver. Stay in the crown. Yeah, man. yeah. yeah we, we gotta. We gotta. You know what I mean? Like, let's give Martin something else. Where maybe he's like yeah. head of like the helicopter unit or something. Yeah, like he's on dispatch. Yeah, yeah. We gotta find a different place to place Martin because y'all can't keep trying to trick salt. niggas with he these got fast too much salt in his diet. He got too much salt. He got gout. <laughs> you say Martin got gout. No, he, he just real swole. Like he, it's he that got, henny. You see it in the eyes. That's that yak. Niggas can't put that yak down. I'm telling you. Yo, every I tweeted the other day. Every nigga that ever looked like he had liver <laughs> disease when I was looking at his eyes, and I looked in his eyes, and I said, "Oh, you have liver disease coming out." Every nigga like that did me dirty. Every single man. Mm. He, you don't care about yourself. Why would you care about me? Exactly. You see, you see that mm -hmm. them eyes be so brown. You see a goldfish swimming in there. Wait, that's really what he looks like. He's not in great shape. You didn't see Bad Boys Three? No. You should. You should go see. Bad I'm Boys good. 3. It's actually they should have pushed production like six months. He looks. Come on, they got him running around. Could, just give him the uh, diabetic medication. Be well, right. no, he was healing. He better be He wasn't in bit. the majority of the movie. He was healing. Hey, but not too much of my guy Marty Marl, though. That's still. I mean, look oh, at him. Still the goat. Legend. That's the legend right there. I also don't want to see like their kids be the next generation. I don't want that version either of cops. Yeah. Yeah. Not like their bad. partners. <laughs> yeah. To, like prove <laughs> that it's generational. Yeah, I'm cool. Uh, <laughs> I don't like generational cops. It's just yeah. like I'm, I'm cool. I'm cool. Well, that's like that's like an Irish thing. They're like the last cops that we even like root for. Like they're like the last cops that niggas are allowed to root for. It is crazy that they made it this far as cops. <laughs> y'all might be too young, but do y'all like Bad Boys or Lethal Weapon? Um, probably Bad Boys. Lethal. All right, I'm Lethal Weapon Four. That's how young I am. Mm. Like that's when I <laughs> when Chris Rock showed up. Mm -hmm. That's when I was like old enough to watch the Lethal Weapons. Yeah. <laughs> Which I like Lethal Weapon 4. I don't know if that's like a sin to say to you guys that, nah, that yeah. were there from the first one. Yeah. If you like it, you like it. I just think that is, you know, because obviously it was four Lethal Weapons, right? Mm -hmm. That was the last one. Yes. I feel like I made yeah, this yeah, one. Yeah, it was. With. Yeah, no, Jet, Jet Li ended that run. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. He smoked both of them. Yeah, yeah. He lit their house on fire. Mel, yeah, Mel looked at Danny Glover and was like, yo, you know what? This is the last one, fam. I can't do this shit another year. Um, <laughs> Damn, I miss Jet Li. But those are two of the best, like, you know, just his films. cop okay. partner movies, Lethal Weapon <laughs> and Bad Boy. Two of the best cop partner films, uh, series that we have, for sure. But I will say, like, if we're comparing Lethal Weapon 4 to Bad Boys 3, or like the last one so far, Lethal Weapon 4 is well, way we gotta, better we than Bad Boys 3. Bad Boy That's out. true. That's, this is the fourth one. Hold on now. We got to wait to see what they do with this fourth one. But take a page out of that Lethal Weapon book and make this the last one, though. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this is the last <laughs> Let's end it here. Let's go even out with a bang. Even if it's fire, even, even if it's, fire. it's cool to leave when you're on fire. Yeah, yeah. Issa did it. It's cool. I'm cool. And also to your point of them having to change Martin, like Danny Glover was clearly out of shape in Lethal Weapon Four, and they made him out of shape in the movie. He yeah. didn't catch one Chinaman. No, 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 not one. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> he didn't go up the it. steps. They leaned into that. They leaned into it. you. Got to lean into it. Like, all right, don't worry. We're gonna we're gonna find the humor in all of this. Don't worry about it. Um. But yeah, Bad Boys 4, I don't know when it's coming out, but I mean, I think we all have to watch it. We watched three of them. Mm -hmm. Can we go together as a family? Man, See Bad Boys for Life? I was I'm like, down. What? All four of us. Can we do one yeah. of the- um, I picks? Like the ones with the, the real meals and like I -pick. couches and shit? All right, yeah. Mm -hmm. it's, called, it's called Look Now though, right? It's not I Pick the most. I think it's called they Look. They changed the name? A lot of the I picks that I knew are now called Look Cinemas. Oh. Well, I, I love I pick. I usually go to the one in uh, Seaport. Yo, I went they to- They closed that one. No. Yeah. Really? Damn, really? In the financial district? They needed, no, the way. they needed to close that. That shit was closed. This one. Not closed. I just went there like, to see that awful movie. Oh, so then they, good. Oh, so then they opened it back up because that shit had so many mice running around that motherfucker. Really? I almost threw Molotov in there and ran out. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> I love this theater. Yo, I went to yeah, Dave they and they Buster's. They clean that shit. I went to Dave and Buster's on 42nd Street on last Monday. Or last Tuesday, whatever. That shit is the hood. They... They need metal detectors. They need a cop in there. Yeah. None of the games work. That shit is the scariest place on earth. Mm -hmm. That's like old Times Square. They yeah. just moved it into David Well, that Buster's. whole Times Square area now, since you know all the migrants are here, that's what that whole area is like now. It's, I mean, it's still nice Times Square compared to what it used to be, but they put, they, all right, they're all in David Buster's. Thing. The only thing, the only thing that's nice about it from they're what it used to be in the 90s is that we have LED like billboards now. You can see everything. That's it. But the sidewalks are filthy. When you go inside any of those restaurants, they're filthy. The floor is filthy. Dave and Buster's is filthy. Yeah. Like, it's just the area over there is just Granted, you could, just a, a big hangout now. You would always get knocked out at BBQs across the street. That's never going to change. Yeah, no, that's, that's but crazy. I did not know Dave and Buster's was in that bad of shape. I knew it, it was terrifying. Uh, Boz used to be security over there. 
And he's Dave and Buster's at, da- at the Dave and Buster's in Times Square. <laughs> Bosh, you give me security at Dave and Buster's. And he told me some wild stories <laughs> from his time there. Yeah, that's sick. Another very unfortunate thing happened this weekend. I found out <clears throat> that OnlyFans girls are not to be trusted. No. <laughs> Loyan just gave us the breakdown on taxes. <laughs> yes, actually, if you uh, want some OnlyFans tax expert uh, advice on our Patreon right now, our, our business manager, Loyan, we did a cool cool financial series that we're going to continue. Yeah. Um, Help y'all get y'all money right. Yeah, I don't know how to pitch it well. It's no. just, you know. Just give, a, give y'all some game on how to get your money right, how to uh, what you should do if you have money, what you should do as far as budgeting your money. Um, and just having some fun conversations around, you know, growing up in the Bronx, being broke, not trying to figure out how our parents were able to survive on three thousand dollars a month. Crazy. Um, and yeah, and try to apply it to, to today's times with uh, so much financial strain on so many people. Even though you know we're, we're in a different era and haram! we're making more money. Yeah, it is haram. Um, <laughs> I didn't even mean to. Do it. I'm sorry. <clears throat> it's, it's still fun to have those conversations about finances. So, yeah. Kai should have watched that before um, sending. Ten thousand dollars to an OnlyFans girl with his address. Yeah, that's sick. I mean, Kai. L- listen, this He's goes young. back to a very simple thing. We've all made mistakes with women. Kai not, is I'm young and not here to show him at all. If I, if I had as much money as Kai when I was his age, the shit that I would have been doing is fucking way. Some way would have had to send somebody over to help help me. Kai, Kai's an angel compared yeah, to what I. He's a doing. fucking saint compared to what I would have been doing. I did respect though. All right, for those that don't know, uh, an OnlyFans girl leaked a bunch of text messages uh, between and photos. And photos and video of her Lock with her up. Uh, I agree. That's really some corny shit that should be Lock legal. her up. Well, he did say her. he's going to sue her, which I- Nah, that ain't enough. Put her in the jail. <laughs> I did respect- It's good to put these girls in jails and let them, them tracks slip out <laughs> and can't get no makeup. Let you know, see what you're paying for. This is what you're really paying for. I don't for. think it's illegal to post somebody while they're asleep. It should be. And she also- I Shit, mean, she, I agree. She, well, she posted them. a lot of his information though. Yeah, she's address. Them. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, lock up. I thought she blocked out the address. <laughs> She blocked No, and manager. one of the messages, it was fully there. Oh, really? But I think that might have been to a hotel room. And then the other one that she blocked out was his real address. His real address yeah. But what, what I will respect and give Kai a lot of credit, being that young and fucking her in like the streaming basement instead of your bedroom, that's, a, that's an OG move. Swag. Good for him. Yeah. You definitely have to take the whore to the bed that you don't sleep in. Mm-hmm. I did think it was hilarious that he does, <laughs> he does have a bed in that basement. <laughs> but I respect that. I, she, she stepped over a fucking dollar to get a penny. Yeah, her career is over. Who the fuck is gonna trust this girl? I don't understand why escorts expose people. Like she didn't even <clears throat> try to extort them. She didn't even go the OG well, whore route. That's the, the cloud chasing shit. I'm, 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 I'm laid up with Kosh and not. So let me ruin my whole escort career because they're she not, thought he was gonna wake up and be like, woman. yeah, she's she somebody who want who's, who probably started selling pussy because she doesn't get enough attention. That's probably what that's. That's she's a not about her crazy business. reason to start selling pussy. Well, a lot of people do it. A lot of people. Well, she. Why do you think so many women whore? A lot of a lot of people whore for fun, but a lot of people whore because they don't get attention. And then I might as well be a professional whore and get paid for it. But True. you're not about. You're not dedicated to the game. You're not about your business. You didn't study the greats. No. You fumble in the fucking bag. Make horror sign NDAs again. But see, NDAs like and for take what phones they don't at, they don't take have phones at the door. True, I'm with that. But like having someone sign an NDA that doesn't have shit is pointless. I'm gonna see you for your iPhone. I'm gonna see you for your weave. Like what is? That's not gonna stop her. <laughs> she has nothing to lose. The fuck, I care about an NDA. Um, I just want Kyle to be careful, man. Because yeah. this is how. Yeah. You know, this we we laugh and we joking, but this is how you can have a woman like this at your house, and then she sends your address to some somebody mm-hmm. who thinks that, oh, that's the popular streamer. He probably got ten million sitting in cash in the basement. Got my ass, nigga. And then they want to run up in there and hurt and hurt Kai and do something stupid. Yeah. So you got to be careful, man. Be very careful with these women. And like look, the game is just backwards now. Isn't this the reason you pay for pussy for like secrecy? Mm-hmm. No, isn't that the point of whores? I thought to I, leave well, and to be quiet. Yeah, well, I that, never subscribed to that game, so I don't know. Neither have I, but I just don't. But well, this is I why I never it. subscribe to that game. This, this right here, this mm-hmm. reason right here is why you never subscribe to paying some random because you don't know this woman. No, you don't know what she's capable of. You don't know like her intentions. You don't know like you know who she's connected to. But you're just gonna pay her some money to lay down, and have sex with her, and then get out. 
Okay, now she knows where you live. And then why? But that's another thing. Why is crime, Kyle, Did she admit to a crime? She showed that there was a transaction. She's a prostitute. Is that legal in Georgia? I mean, she's not standing on a corner selling pussy. That's illegal. But if you go to somebody's house and fuck them and they send you some money for it, I don't think that's illegal. Ah. You just can't be on the corner trying to like flag. Just talk be like, down. yo, hey, yeah, like fuck I, I think me. that's illegal. But if a girl is on Instagram and a guy sees her, like, hey, come to my house, I'll give you five thousand to fuck. Okay, that's but, not illegal. Yeah, I mean, the, illegal. all right, is the club that's the illegal? Yes. Where's that illegal at? That's pro that's still prostitution. No, it's not. Okay. If a girl has that's an Instagram account, I'm not saying she's on this saying, hey, hit me right now. It's a sale on the pussy for thirty nine ninety nine. <laughs> you can get this ass. No, she's got a regular Instagram account. And I heard she sells pussy and I DM her. That's not how is that illegal? That's not illegal. I mean, similar to what Loyan was telling us about uh, expenses with your taxes, I guess you could just say like, I'm not paying her for pussy. I'm just, you know, paying her for her service of well, friendship. Yeah. The, the general, the definition is prostitution <laughs> involves engaging, agreeing, or offering to exchange in sexual conduct with a person in return for a fee. Oh, yeah. So she just told That's herself. Prostitution. Yeah, so and what's the difference between the she corner and the club? Those girls are in the club She's just pussy. stylist. She went over there to help him like organize his closet. Well, with <laughs> all the information available now. <laughs> no, no, know, no. She straight not. up said, yo, I'm a whore. He yeah. paid me to have sex. Yeah, I don't himself. see nothing wrong with it. Well, he's suing her. As you should. I don't know if he'll win, but because <clears throat> I don't know the laws of this. But I hope he wins. Yeah. He said, you took a picture of me without my consent. Naked revenge porn. That's that's revenge porn. You're threatening to, I know, but it's still a crime. I'm not messed up though. That's all I'm saying. I'm not messy. What? I'm not messed up. I'm not messed up. It's still a crime though. I know, but you'll get in trouble. It's coming from you. You're the source. Text messages you have. Admit it. You have admitted. Yeah, bro. It makes no sense. Profound. And this is the guy that we trust to have all of this money and. <laughs> Look at the sentences. Let the taking. lawyers take care of this. Just, he shouldn't have any more comments on this. And just like, what, where what, is his what, what, big what homie? <clears throat> where is his? Because he should have never even addressed this. See, the problem is when you got more I money than your big homie, you don't listen to your big homie. Mm. That's the problem. A lot of these young dudes that got is money, true. they don't listen to the big homie because I got more money than my big homie. Fuck, I'm listening to them for. This is why you listen to your big homie because you don't know everything. Or a lawyer. Let your big homie be a lawyer. You shouldn't have said anything about any of this. No, I was shocked. That he he need to have this. somebody around him that if he wants women, right? We'll get them for him. I'll get the women for you. Don't worry yeah, about that. Yeah. Damn. He's going to vet all of these women. We know who we bringing in here. No phones allowed. Yeah. It got to go down like that. He you sent, one of them. He sent five grand on a Wednesday at 1230 PM. I mean, we've, all been, we've all been horny at that time. A little five pack. You know what I'm saying? Probably not 1230 a lot of money on PM on a Wednesday. That's what a Wednesday. The next one like. makes sense. November tenth, twelve thirty. Does your horniness wear a watch? Like I don't know. He was horny at, at noon on a Wednesday. Yeah, it happens. What's the problem. Probably just woke up. That's actually the best time to be horny. Keep it real. Yeah, the pussy off the wake up is pretty nice. I'm not mad at that. Yeah, but this is and what he happens. streams at night. Like that's probably his his his, his time. He's that's true. He probably has like you know like truck driving hours. Like he's like not. He gonna does. Work. Yeah. 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 And he's a hard worker. Well, you know. Where's the Kai? Kai, be just be careful, please. Be careful, Kai. Or not. And Mom. also, you're young. <laughs> fuck young. You know how many young girls want to fuck you for free? That's your age. And like, they just. Yeah, but them young girls don't know how to fuck. Uh, Everybody wanted a nasty, a, a grown whore. She's okay. coming there, lick his yeah, ass. But the grown tab. whores are not supposed to do this. They're not. But she's this this, is like this, young this, horse. But this young lady, you could tell she's not. She wasn't uh, cum laude. <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> she wasn't mad. She's just cum. Yeah, she's just cum loud. Um, <laughs> come loudly come loudly um <laughs> but yeah Kai, be careful man because i don't want to open my phone and read some shit niggas and tied you up and got you somewhere man because i ain't gonna believe it i'm like this is another fucking skit mm. I ain't rolling. <laughs> yeah nobody gonna be looking for he you, playing man. again like we ain't coming to look wolf. For you. yeah we ain't coming to look for your ass Kai. keep playing <laughs> we're just be gonna the, lol yeah good, you'll be in the content. back of a van behind the motherfucking <laughs> lennox mall niggas we got fucking your voicemails around. listen man especially in atlanta it's a scary city um, but yeah, voicemails. You've got mail. Yes. Okay. Who wants to have terrible advice from us? <laughs> uh, this is a familiar voice. Hey, what's up? This is Taylor. Hey. Uh, I sent you guys a voicemail request not too long ago, but upon my uh, Patreon binge, I realized y'all already spoke on, uh, spoke on that topic. So scratch that. Hey, and if y'all want to know, uh, listeners out there, 
subscribe to the Patreon so you know what I'm talking about. Thank you, Taylor. But <laughs> uh, what I will take from my little voicemail that I sent, Damaris, I am also mm. 10 minutes away from Prudential. You got to let me take you out for a drink or something, man. Huh? Taylor gonna motherfucking spank them kizzies. She gonna smash them cakes. <laughs> Ooh. Taylor says she 10 minutes from the set. Yo, you What's gotta good? respect the shoot. Yo, shooters are hear, always gonna shoot. Yo, I don't wanna hear, yo, she lived too far. She 10 minutes, baby D. Mm-hmm. She could be there in 12. She'll have that pot boiling in <laughs> no time. By the I time just, y'all I get back, she put the dildo on the pot. Mine. She put the Taylor. dildo on the crock pot, keep it on low all day. <laughs> Slow cook it. <laughs> Slow boil that Slow <laughs> sear it when you guys walk in. <laughs> Yo, bo- taking the dildo out the crock pot. <laughs> <laughs> she been, I've been sizzling for eight hours. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> slow ball in the slow ball. Literally the coming off the bone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it falls <laughs> right off the bone. <laughs> it's like oxtail. It falls yeah. right off the bone. <laughs> oh my god. What's up? Taylor but yo, listen, Taylor been trying to get a date for about three years. You now, owe her baby. one at this point. What's just a date, baby D? Just a date. A drink. Not even a drink. Just go get some lunch or something, you know. We'll come too. Shit. With the cameras. <laughs> yeah, like put your AirPod in and put your hair over your ear and just let me talk to you the whole time. Like, ask Taylor, <laughs> ask her this. And then you just give her a game and then let us like, you know, talk about it. I think this might be the first person Damaris is like intimidated by. Mm. They always she get could, yo, she girls could always claim they bisexual like, to a gay girl. Step to them. Y'all always claim me I'm bi. Y'all fuck with girls. Y'all fuck. Until one step to them with the business, then it's like, nah, I'm cool. I don't date aggressive women. I am an aggressive woman. Taylor, I'm like, you've been over. I'm like, you've been over. Like, no. So then y'all both it's like two be bulls. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Prize fighters. <laughs> Sounds like Hagler Hearns yeah, all over say, yeah. <laughs> Ali Frazier it's, at the Prudential Center. Yeah, this, is, all, this, is the rum- <laughs> this is the rumble in the jungle. <laughs> like, this is the- Kendrick Drake, let me yeah, tell yeah, you about yeah. Yo, Taylor Kendrick and Baby and Drake, D. Y'all step aside for ten minutes. <laughs> let us handle this. Let us get to the bottom of this beef right here. Like, y'all step aside. Y'all niggas go chill. <laughs> Baby D and Taylor on the undercard. Like, let's get to that. Let's talk to that type of shit. I feel like y'all would do damage at like a swingers resort. The two of y'all. Ooh, that two man game. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I, we still have a lot more to go in this voicemail. Oh, but wait, I just wanted to embarrass to acknowledge that. Okay. <laughs> Oh, Taylor not finished? My bad. Oh, no. no. All right. She's never finished. Like, no funny shit I'm spoken for. I just want to kick it with you. Um, she oh, said, she's spoken she said for. that, but in the, the she left two voicemails. In the first version of this, she said, I'm spoken for, unless you don't want me to be. She, oh, she so she like, you know, she'll put that thing to the side for you. See? Or she'll bring that thing. you a cheater. How can I trust you? This aggressive shit. If a, if I could snatch you from your bitch, then a bitch could snatch you from me. I doubt it, but you know. Mm, uh, but you're it. like, you're her twin flame. Like, yeah, I ain't gonna lie. You're the end all be all for her, so. Rory, I'm gonna slap the twin flame out of your head. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. I kind of see it. I see a little slap thing. Slap the flame off his head. Yeah, I, see the yeah, I saw the chemistry on stage in person. Yeah, Damaris, was, she was a little nervous. I've like, never seen her flustered before in my entire yeah, life. Yeah, she keep. I ain't gonna well, lie. I had, a, I had a date there. <laughs> she did have you shook. A date where? I had a date at You handled the 50 show. mozzarella sticks better than you handled uh, Taylor on stage. Oh, you had a date at the live <laughs> show? At the live show that Taylor was at. That Taylor, you know. Oh, so you couldn't mm-hmm. get too crazy. Yeah, you, had to, you had to respect the, the date that man. was in the audience. I mean, he probably would have been down. <laughs> <laughs> no? he'll, sh- he'll shoot you if you heard you say Why? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, Taylor's a pretty girl. Yeah. She is. She's beautiful. Yeah. Taylor probably could suck she the also motherfucking... Like mom. <laughs> she <laughs> probably could take a fucking... She could suck the, the meat right off the oxtail. Like, you need that in the room for something. That's useful. Either you useless or you useful. I think that's useful. That's true. That's just how I'm thinking about it. But yeah. it is what it is. No, that's, that's profound. Right? <laughs> There's more. Can we let Taylor <laughs> oh, She's not finished yet? <laughs> yeah. Oh, shit. I thought it was over. My bad. There you go. Um, But anyway... What if, so uh, let me see. Okay, so what if you can get 2.5 mil a year for not having sex? Like you cannot have sex for a year, entire year. Every year you go without having sex, you get 2.5 million. And it's not prorated. You can't just stop midway. And it has to be consecutive years. Like you can't like jump back in the game and and then like, you know, pull out. <laughs> no. No funny shit. Nah. We, but, know, we know Taylor don't pull out. Yeah. Or consecutively, how how many years can you go without sex? Maybe you can get like a little handy like on your birthday. Like that's the only treat. <laughs> All right. I like get. the stipulation there. But how long are you going um, to get that bread? Let me know. 
Wait, can so I, I have to go can a I whole year? Off? So can she's saying you to every it's consecutive years. Every consecutive year you go without having sex, you get two and a half mil. But if you fuck in one year, that's it. You're done. So tax, I have to go free? two years to get two and a half mil. No, oh, one year per year you get two and a half mil. So, so if I don't fuck in twenty twenty four, but I fuck in twenty twenty five, do I get the two point five? Yeah, yes. but yes. then but then the, it's over. The done. Yes, yeah, you done. can't. You're not eligible to get five. I can't million. jump back into the no, no. into the pool. <sighs> I so, can do two point five. I would take the two point five. Well, you at though. the point five, you might as well just go for three because you don't get any money. No, for what a half I, a year. I could do the just oh. I would get two point five million because I could do a year. I thought you were saying two and a half. If years. I'm able to, if I'm able to, if I'm able to masturbate, I could do one year. Yeah, I could definitely do a year if I'm able. To if I can masturbate, I got two. This head count. <laughs> I got two years in me, and I might after that two years be like, I could probably go for a third. <laughs> This head You're count? in a relationship though, Roy. So you. Want I mean, I could do it, but I would have to go commit a crime so I get locked up. Mm. That's a good. Yeah, that's a good point. Like I would go commit a crime. Give me like six years. I don't know. I'll go do six years. If I know I'm coming you out. You could get something that's just gonna land you a year. Like get a cute little gun charge. Like you know. No, but if I could cute. do a year out here in the in free New world York. and not have sex for two point five million. Oh, okay. I'm gonna get more than two point five. The only way I'm getting to that more than two point five is if I'm locked up. We I can't make, be in the free world and not have no sex for more than a year. We would make free, free mall shirts. You'd be able to take them off. I'm trying to stay in here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, I, I <laughs> did it. Off, I'll tell you, I did it. Just run that number up, though. Like, let me know where we at. Yeah, I could do I could do Give me some time in prison. Yeah. I'll definitely do that. Like, a nice, like, tax evasion crime or some embezzling so you can put me in, yeah. like... Put me in know, the federal system. Yeah, one of those that has tennis courts yeah. and shit. <laughs> let me get a... You know what I mean? Put get, me with uh, the dude from Jersey Shore. Like, I'll study law while I'm in there. I'll do that whole thing. I'll come out and just be a whole different person. You know, rehab is probably the, the best. A good, good angle. Yeah, but re- like there's, but there's women rehab. in rehab places though. <laughs> that you're toxic. You can go to all men rehab. <laughs> Who the fuck? Wants that to was do the that? Same. I'm just gonna let her say what that. she said. She said she'd probably fall in love in rehab, and I believe her. That's a fact. Damn, that's Maris a, would. You need to talk to a therapist about that. Damn, baby D, you <laughs> that say that's like 101. The last thing Taylor will get do a coke problem for you if you want. She'll develop a coke habit for you. <clears throat> it gotta be alcohol rehab though. I don't like men who do drugs. Damn, um, alcohol might be worse than a nigga that sniff. It, it yeah. is worse. Alcohol? Have you ever seen a That's nigga probably the worst drug. <laughs> like, No, it definitely is. I just don't like the way men on drugs. I don't like hyper men. I like men because they can't get it up. Mm. Mm. You trying to fuck a nigga on a perk? Oh, Jesus! Nigga, I'll fuck awful. you through a project staircase wall <laughs> on a perk. He can't feel nothing. <laughs> he in there just pounding and drilling. <laughs> like slow down, my head. Pussy ain't going nowhere. That's how you. That's how you get a charge. Yeah, it's like, you yo, go relax. to jail after that. Yeah, get your two point five. You going crazy off the perk thirty? <laughs> Chill, little nigga. Perk thirty. Yeah, he in the hallway going crazy. Seventy five pounds on a perk thirty. That nigga fucking or he fighting? What are you doing in there? Like, <laughs> she in there begging for him to stop. Like, yo, you ain't gonna slow grind her at all. Like, it's just straight drill. Do you know I'm here? Yeah. Like, did you kiss her at least? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Wait, Maul. So you're saying you don't you don't think you could go a year unless you're locked up? Or I could do a year out. I okay. could do a year, but I want more than two point five. I can do two. I don't know if I you can can't do two years without sex. I'm not rolling. No man could do two years without, unless he's imprisoned. In the free world, no man is doing mm. two years without sex. I'd, I'd, I'd like go. I'd, I'd have to go on a retreat. I'd treat it like I that. don't care where you go. I'm just I would if have you're to at a retreat and there's women at that <laughs> retreat too. <laughs> no, no, no. I mean like in the alone, like ISO. Like yes. off the grid for off the grid. If you're gonna do that, is that even worth two point five? After the first two point five, man, million, lock me up. Not? I'm gonna be in there with my cousins, the home. We're gonna be playing ball. We're gonna be watching the games, nigga. Put, send me to prison, dog. Yeah. Do you ever uh, don't take me off the, the grid the and put me in a mountain and make me oh, eat berries I, I and leaves? My I'll house. send you pictures of bad bitches, more for you to hang on your wall. You definitely fucking something in Albany after two months. All right, if I go to prison, can I have an <laughs> iPad? I, I mean, just, it comes with the tablet. Right? Still be. I off. gotta be able to see. I gotta be able to see Jada Stevens and them. I gotta still. Uh, come on, man. She'll probably visit you in jail. No, yeah. No, I'm gonna lose the money. You'll lose the money. <laughs> the and fuck now don't you're come just in jail. Like, yeah, don't come see me. Like, now I'm just fucking locked up. Now you're not gonna get those up. conjugal visits. You're not. <laughs> <laughs> nah, don't come see me. Don't come see me. Let me I, get I really money. think I could do two years for five mil. No way. No. What's the longest? I could beat off. What's the longest you guys have gone without sex? Fourteen years. Yeah. Well. Um. As an adult. I don't know. I did. I did a I year. Never, I did like maybe it. a little over a year one time. I That's did mad like gay. 13, 14 months. <laughs> he got no money for it. <laughs> I did a little over a year one time. <laughs> were, you, were you trying to find yourself? <laughs> we had Joshua Believe tree. <laughs> no, nah, I just did. I did a year. No pussy. Why, I did that before. Why? I don't know why. I think I just looked up and I, one time I was at like six, seven months. I was like, fuck it. I'm going to just try to do a year. It was just like a mind thing. I need to see if I could do a year. I would have had the opposite reaction. I was like, damn, I need to get some pussy. <laughs> but, but, but you talking <laughs> like, like, wow, I, what a loser. I, no, but I never had a problem getting pussy. I just was yeah. like, 
I looked at one day and I was like, damn, I ain't fucking like six, seven months. I feel you because then it's like, fuck, let me see if I can go a year. Then let me just like see if I can go a year. It's a ch- it was a challenge. Like, let me. S- so I know I could do a year, 100%. But two years? Fuck no. Hell no. I think six months. Six I'm not going to so much. Are they taxing this five million? They better not tax my five. No, nah, we'll say it's untaxed, clean. Oh, yeah, I'm doing two years. Really? No five mil liquid? Yeah. No way. No fucking way. Then, I, then I'm going to buy take... mad pussy with Kai after that. I'm going to go crazy on that third year. <laughs> yeah, you're going to blow one. You're going to blow a mil <laughs> on some pussy. I got four left. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Or you could just invest the 2.5. Like LLC and Twitter like, told me to? It's like, still fuck. <laughs> that's true. You can make that two and a half. Listen, I made, I've made a lot of money stretch. You give me five mil liquid untaxed, I'm making that stretch. I'm buying all the cheap pussy. Yeah, I, I, uh, a year is tough. I'd have to, I'd have to, I'd have to leave New York. It's not that tough. You, I'm gonna tell you what you have to do though. You have to become super busy with like work and shit like that. Like, or just get married. You have to find. That's crazy. But just find. You gotta find. <laughs> you gotta find <laughs> something you're to definitely really not getting pussy. Yeah, you could get twenty million dollars. That's, <laughs> but you gotta definitely find shit to like just keep you super busy throughout the day. She did well, add the stipulation of maybe for your birthday you can get a little handy or like you get some work. So, if I could masturbate, I could definitely do a year in the free world. Not past that though. Not past that. No way. I'm not going two summers with no pussy. Not happening. All right. I hate to bring the kid thing into this, but <clears throat> there's time like with postpartum and everything. Like, you're going to go without pussy for a while. I could do a year standing on my head. Okay. Two, I'm asking you. Yeah. No. Yeah. You're dead. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's not happening, bro. All right. Can I prep for the year before? Like, I know. How do you prep? You let's say 2025 and 2026. Just try to get Irish twins. Like just keep you know banging them out, yeah. And then I have a bunch of kids to distract me for those two years to not think about sex. Rel's with me. I don't. I don't think that. I don't think it's gonna work. <laughs> yeah, not, not advised. Not advised. I don't think that's gonna work. Just lock me up, man. I'll catch a little little five year bit. Doing that is crazy. Like you wouldn't just like do the Wyoming route, nah. like when Kanye was in that bad. <laughs> like you don't need to go to jail. You don't need to go to jail. You can nah. literally go somewhere in the. I know just me. Dolo. I know me. You send me to Wyoming, the first time I go to that supermarket and go get some groceries and there's somebody in there that look halfway decent, I'm on them. <laughs> you know, it be really easy uh, for Julian, a good strategy. Move into a black neighborhood. Ooh, yeah, I can move to Atlanta. You, you wouldn't be, fuck for years. I can hang with Kai. <laughs> you gonna get something else living in Atlanta. You, <laughs> no, nobody want that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> nobody don't want that. <laughs> you, you Go to jail. Trust me on that. Same thing in jail. <laughs> you ain't fucking in jail. Uh, well, then I don't I'm know what you be saying. doing. I don't know. Atlanta, I don't, listen, hey, hey, you know, well, little, little J and J, yeah, Jaden, Jaden and Justin. I don't, know. I don't know what you be doing in, in your free time, brother. You think I go to jail and have sex with men in my free time? Is that what you just said? <laughs> I don't know what you be doing in jail. You think that's? I've never been to jail. I've I just never feel, been I just in feel like jail. I could bench press and stuff. I've never been. Yeah, <laughs> I've never been. <laughs> like, arrested. I feel like I'm gonna just run some laps and work out. Like I don't really need to. I don't need to fuck that dude, bro. <laughs> yeah, I don't need. I'll just go to like, Chow, sir. I don't need that. I'm going to work <laughs> out, Mr. Like, Chow. Yeah, yeah. I don't need that. That's not what I do, sir. Like, are they playing dominoes? All right, I'm just gonna do that. <laughs> yeah. Well, y'all playing spades out over there. All right, cool. Cool. I think I'm. I think we should do that. Blow some steam off. <laughs> oh man, but um, I'm hope that you and Taylor one day can go on a date just so we can just hear about it. I, I think y'all will have fun. But I, I, Taylor, um, D, I'll be your driver. We can link up. You be my, <laughs> my driver. I will be the driver for your date. Would you wear oh, a suit? Okay, Absolutely. You wear a suit. I put the hat and everything. Oh on. my god, <laughs> that would be a lot of fun. I just got to move the car seat. <laughs> Hold on, let me get this out of the way. That would be but a yeah, fucking Taylor, hilarious. D- DM me if if you live in. We that got GoPros area. here, right? Yeah, yeah. I throw a GoPro right right in the mozzie, like the dash cam. Yeah. Remember uh, what was that late night show? The Taxi cab Taxi confession. Cab confession. Yes, that's Nasty. one of the greatest shows ever. <laughs> get them, get them fucked up and just. Drive around the block. Yeah, Watch no, I'll, I'll be the, the designated driver. I won't speak because I'll, I'll be on the clock. Like, yeah, keep it just perfect. open doors, quiet car. Yeah, just a fly in the wall. <laughs> you guys, oh, you guys, you, know get, uh, the you guys can get the Bluetooth. <laughs> I'll have mints, waters. Oh, that's right. a good ride right there. Boiling pot. Yeah, <laughs> crock pot in the back. In case you need to get can dinner. Can we fucking your back seat? Gangster, you gotta yes. lay something down. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine you drive. Sorry, HR. Imagine you drive. Yeah, y'all definitely can. (laughs) Imagine you drive a Taylor and Demarish around on their date and they start fucking in your backseat. Man, I'm like, you know, she wear the strap everywhere too. So, she yo, having strap under the jeans is so crazy. (laughs) (laughs) 
<laughs> like, like you can see her, her dildo print. Yo, because you got strap don't get soft like real dicks do. Like it's hard the whole time. Yeah, and you can't go out on nine inches soft. You can't go out on a date with a girl without it. Because what if she want to fuck the first night? Would you say nine inches soft? It's yeah. still the funniest thing ever to me. <laughs> what episode was that from? You said it was seven, seven, seven soft. soft. Seven soft. Seven, seven soft. soft. The seven soft. Backing out the seven soft. <laughs> Fam, you my, your girl gone, dog. <laughs> she ain't coming Easy. back. Or he still soft. said he never saw the Drake leak, which I don't believe him, but. You, show it to me. I, so you can say. No, we're not doing that So you can say, I have not seen it. Show it to me. No, 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 no. If it'll make you feel okay. better, I'll on see it. On your free time. On your free time. I'm not watching that shit. Yo. Think Kendrick has any bars that? Hope you, not. You I at, hope not. You look at He's definitely going to accuse him like, of leaking his own dick video. Dick big, like you look at your boy. Your man's different. You looking at me, so I'm, I'm assuming you asking me that question. <laughs> Don't ever ask me no shit like that. I, I'm... If I look at my man different, if I know he got a big yo, what you what, what's up with you, yo? No, I don't mean. We like were just that. talking about lyrics. Like... like why we got to be? What are we talking about? Right I now? never treat him all different once I found out. <laughs> yo, my man. Rory. What's up with you, bro? Rory. What's up with you, man? Yeah, he's out. still just a person to me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't challenge you many still different. Like you, no, you, said my eyes are up here, Rory. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, y'all are sick, man. See, this is why they need to lock y'all up for that 2.5. Uh, <laughs> word. <laughs> okay, so Taylor, Damaris has agreed. I will be the driver. I will wear a suit. That's fire. Can we keep it in Jersey? That'd be helpful. Yeah. yeah. Well, we both live in Jersey, so why would we go to New York? That's true. All three of us live in Jersey. What shows come to the Prudential Center? Well, who can you guys see there? Well, no, because then I'm going to have to sit outside in the car for a really long time. <laughs> nah, just take him to a restaurant. Don't act like you don't love doing that anyway. That is true. <laughs> you know, I, I, Rel can probably attest to this. I fully understand now why, like, dads sit in the driveway for, like, 15, 20 minutes before they walk inside. Mm-hmm. I fully understand it now. Moms do it too. <laughs> you got to release. You got to fucking, you know, <sighs> get that Or, like, there. the toilet. The toilet or the, or the car. <clears throat> but, no, I'll get myself an iPad like the other drivers and shit that... Oh, Sit outside, yeah. like yeah, you'll find some time. Watch a series, time watch, watch Mash, yeah, whatever they watch. That's sick. <laughs> Mash. Oh man, that'll be fun. <clears throat> Big week in hip hop, mom. Big week in hip hop. More to come. Uh, I think we're just getting started. Does Taylor have to pay since she invited? Like, I don't know how the the gay thing works. Who pays? Well, I'm femme, so she has to pay. I'm not paying. Gotcha. I'm not right. paying for anything oh, so ever. Taylor out bulls you. Yeah, I, I guess we answered that when you said you guys were both. Yeah, you would be the bottom. <laughs> is there bottoms in lesbians? Of course. Yeah, like the bottom of the. They scissoring. both don't want to get fucked. Like I was gonna say, like, whose scissoring. lips are on the bottom if you're scissoring? I don't think. Well, I don't know. Damaris can speak. I was talking to a girl last week, and she <laughs> said she uh, she's bisexual, and she scissored a girl. She, she was she didn't she was like I didn't know what to expect. I never done it before. And she said it was, she said it was a great time. I've never seen girl scissor in person. She was like I didn't think it was real, and then she did it. And it was like I need like, to add nice. that to the bucket list. Yeah. Thought it was interesting. You never seen it in real life? No. I'm, it's not my I never thing. like mentioned it in a threesome. Like, you guys should scissor. No. Did you want to be involved? <laughs> should I just do this? <laughs> Look like a crap. You <laughs> just put on no, you just, <laughs> just put on Edward scissor hands and turn it up real loud. Like you turn it up real loud. <laughs> Hide the remote. <laughs> Hide the remote. <laughs> Yo, turn on that with scissor head and turn it all the way up on surround sound and then hide the remote with two lesbians in the house. Give them a hint. Yeah, like, <laughs> Make an adventure. Like, <laughs> what journey are we doing today, Look girls? Look at Johnny Depp, some of his greatest work. <laughs> Ladies, I see a hint on the TV. <laughs> I hate oh, you sitting there with two forties taped to your head. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, just, you just you just pull up like this. Yo, <laughs> Yo put no ever sit the hands and turn it, it with my little eye. Turn it in all the way up and hide in the remote. <laughs> you Except know? the fingers are just boiled dildos. Yeah. <laughs> uh. yeah. Yo, chill, man. Chill. Chill, man. How much time we at, man? I'm trying to get out of here. Oh, man. We're, we're good. <laughs> yeah. Oh, shit. Wrap <laughs> All right, man. <laughs> Everyone have a wonderful evening. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> hopefully, uh, by the time you're hearing this, Kendrick oh. did put out a, a reply. Hopefully, he did. Uh, you're hearing this is Tuesday. Uh, Kendrick probably responded by now. Wednesday, you too. We are already uh, talking about it on our Discord. Subscribe to our Patreon now. Mm-hmm. NewRoryMall.com. Um, and we'll talk to you in a couple days, man. What if you don't put it on the TV and just dress like that? And <laughs> <laughs> just walk in the crib. Cosplay. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> you you two know what to do. <laughs> y'all know what it is. Every time I show up, pulling like up with yeah. this many buckles on. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all know what this is. Stop Un- playing. Undress me. <laughs> yeah. Stop fucking playing. This is a hand stop. Let's get to it. All right, we'll talk to y'all soon. Be be safe. Be blessed. I'm that nigga. He's just ginger. Peace. No worries, man.